I like this. Go. My nigga telling me to pray to a law. With some cold blooded killers standing right in front of y'all. Everybody got a pistol, neither one got a heart. Selling drugs, having fights, it was hard in the north. But I say, oh, well, I'll pray to my God. Let was staying in the street when we spin out the car. Red band down the tire around the road. But my girl could forgive me living life like a star. All oh, red bottoms looking like I walked on the scene. I'm a sad damage with the pills. Young nigga came up still running from the system. Caught his homeboy stealing out the pack, so he clips him. They're feeling down, need somebody for the lift. He been fighting with his girl because he said it down feel him. Mama said that he got drugs in his system. New image, old me, so they miss him. How the fuck I supposed to act with my father in the prison? Tell another nigga, listen, back then I ain't listen. Real player with some young niggas round me, creep. With some old heads out of jail, leave a nigga miss. Lot of money, but they still don't understand how I'm living. From the streets to the can, either way I'm living. Put my rip a nigga up one second in a minute. Tell that nigga, hit me up if he really got ten. My nigga telling me to pray to a law. With some cold blooded killers standing right in front of y'all. Everybody got a pistol, neither one got a heart. Selling drugs, having fights, it was hard in the north. But I say, oh, well, I'll pray to my God. Let was staying in the street when we spin out the car. Red band down the tire around the road. But my girl could forgive me living life like a star. What I say, put the button in the door, open up. Let my nigga out the whip, ain't no shooting out the rain. Got the back in the front, sold up. Tell him spin around a block right before you catch a play. Came on, started selling AA. Got some dog food on me with some egg in the case. Got a K right in my home if you ran in my place. Put a bullet in his dome once he exit his face. On my knees, praying to God, telling him I'm going home if I don't live up to going hard. One night, I ain't go home, girl, acting crazy because she mad that I'm living like a star. Bitch, I'm straight about them trenches, I ain't never had a heart. And I'm plugged in the socket, I ain't never had a car. And you want the fancy things, so you better play your part. Told that bitch you don't work, then I swear you gon' star. My nigga telling me to pray to a law. With some cold belly killers standing right in front of y'all. Everybody got a pistol, neither one got a heart. Selling drugs, having fights, it was hard in the north. But I say, oh, well, I'll pray to my God. Let was staying in the street when we spin out the car. Red band down the tire, around the road. My girl could forgive me living life like a star. Like a star, yeah. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen of the Book of Sports community and around the world. This mic is far too low. Hold on, everybody. Just relax. Uh, just relax. Everybody, just relax. We got another episode of the morning after for you today. There's a lot that happened last night. Among them, the Cubs selling us. Josh told me this morning when I walked in the house, that oh, sucked. That was a crazy game. Soul suckage. I'm not going to lie to you, that sucked. That sucked. <laughs> I'm made up. We had the Cubs. Yeah, we took the Cubs. Up eight zero and they lost. Yeah, we had the Cubs up eight zero. I saw Tatis hit a fucking piss nuke. Yeah, to take the lead. Oh, that was a bummer. Yeah, can't make that up. Cannot. But it was always UConn. Always. And we couldn't have been more right. And by we, I mean Josh. (laughs) I thought that they were gonna make everyone else beat us, but literally it was announced this morning, last night, that Dan Hurley basically said. We were going to let Zach Eady beat us. He was like, if Zach Eady could beat us, we'd let him beat us. We wanted to hold the other four starters to under 18 points combined. Yep. Which is what you said. They were like, you might as well be like, all right, Zach, you're the best player in the country. Come beat us. But the kid can't because he fucking sucks. And did they score 18 points? I don't know. I don't think so. The rest of the team. No. Braden Smith, I think, covered yeah. more yeah, than he, 11. So he might have scored. Yeah. Well, they, he had Hulk. like, I think he had 28 points. They completely shut down Mayor and whatever the fuck. Eady had almost think. 40. You had 37. Really? Yeah. And they had 60 total points. They had 20. Well, because the plan was to let him shoot. It was like, we're yeah. going to let no, yeah, Zach no. do whatever he wants. I didn't think wants. that he had that many points. Yeah. I took his fucking rebounds again, dude. It cost me so much fucking coin, bro. It was always his PRA. But I don't know how he doesn't grab a million boards. Because he sucks. <laughs> uh, Dan Hurley said, we didn't get, we didn't care if Zach Eady took 25 to 28 shots to get 30, 35 points. This whole game, game plan was no Smith, no Lawyer, no Gillis, no Jones. Keep that collective group under 18, 20 points as a group. They had no chance to win no matter how well Zach played. There we go. Zero chance. So people are like, hey, tweeting that he sucks when he's got 30 points because oh, the plan was to let him fucking shoot. You were getting flamed for that pick. Dude, yeah. but I loved it. I that loved was also it. low-key engagement farming. He's got, <laughs> I he's got 40 it. points, and I'm going to post this because he sucked. At yeah. the end of the game. <laughs> but, dude, like, I'm sorry. The kid sucks. He's not going to be a first-round pick. Might not even be a second-round pick. Like, the kid is not good. No, he will he's not He's just good. big. Yes. 
And he's bigger than most big people are. Dude, I was laughing so hard. And here's how you make the cheesy gordita crunch. (laughs) (laughs) Zach eating next week. But when you look at it, like Dan Hurley was already like, okay, go ahead, Zach. You can have every shot you want. Because you can can have 40 points and we'll still beat you by 13. Which, by the way, like I feel like the debate now needs to happen. That's the greatest college basketball team of all time. Dude. Matt Painter even said today, or or in his press conference last night, he was like, normally – you know, you have lock. You're playing against lockdown defenders. He has lockdown defenders coming off the bench. Yeah, like this was a team that eight guys deep. Yeah, they were playing. But they took out Donovan Klingon, and I looked at my girlfriend. And I was like, "Oh fuck, we might be done if Klingon's in foul trouble. Like this could this could cause some problems." Both backup centers came in for UConn. Two straight alley oops. Out re out rebounding Zach yeah. Eady. Like this team was, or is, I think the best college basketball team of all time. They're gonna go down as one of the most underrated teams of all time. I think. To go back, to I feel back, like people aren't going to remember the players. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, pe- like they're not like they don't have like a guy that's like no. a top five pick, top three pick that like everyone's like, oh, this is the reason they won. Yeah. Just they were so good overall. Mm-hmm. Like they'll just get like overlooked. Yeah, ask me in, in a week. Future. Ask me in a week the starting five. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't tell you. I think you'll remember Tristan Newton. He was yeah, pretty yeah, fucking yeah. Special. big Newton PRA. I but like, I'm just saying, like it wasn't smart. one guy that like did everything for him. Dude, how about Cam Smith airballing that three? Yeah, that hurt me. Brandon, I, I, Brandon. I, yeah, I tailed. Uh, I had half a three pointer in the second half. Yeah, and I saw you needed his demon. Fig Newton, that was dude, and he was the only one that made a three in the first half for yeah, Purdue. They, they were won. like one for seven, yeah. and he was the only one that made it. I was like, dude, we're good going Jesus into the second half. He just really? wasn't shooting threes. I don't know what the bit was. Yeah. I was like, oh, we're down by 13. Let's keep fucking driving to the hole. <laughs> like, what is the bit there? No, but I mean, we literally talked about it all, all yesterday. I don't want to like go into it, into it too much, but. Let's just give a quick round of applause. College basketball is over. I feel like we had a great show. We had a great season. Just want to give it up for college basketball. It's the best sport ever until college football comes back. Then it's college football. Yeah. Um, but again, I mean, we talked about it yesterday. This UConn team, I think, is go down is going to go down as one of the best teams, if not the best team, to go back to back. With by the way, losing your two best players for three best players from the year prior, reloading and going back to back and being as dominant as they were. They beat every team by double digits yep. that they played in in March Madness Dude, last two imagine... years. Twelve and zero against the spread yeah. over two years in March Madness, the hardest tournament probably in all of sports for sure. And I have to I have to do it because I said I would do it. Hand up, um, my girlfriend beat me in our bracket challenge. That sucked. <laughs> wow, that sucked. She had UConn winning it all. That sucked. That That's bet tough. Portnoy made has to go down as one of the best wages ever placed. I one mean, of the best and one of the worst. <laughs> Why like, one of the worst? Well, because well, just like you're taking a team back four to back. one to win the Natty, which is insane. It's like if you lose that bet, it's one of the worst place bets of all time. Sure, but obviously won, so it's it is one of the best bets but because it just it was so easy. A futures bet. I've never seen a futures bet that unsweaty. No, yeah, they won every, every game, game by more than ten points. Was yeah. an absolute dominant performance. Oh by yeah, them. that was a great. Dude, I'll bet say it hindsight. too. Normally, and he said it and then tweeted the video of him saying it, and I, like, not even kidding, felt the same way. There wasn't an ounce of my body that really thought UConn wasn't going to cover or win that game. So, no, I agree. Like, the minute that game tipped off and it was, like, kind of close and Zach Eady was playing really well, I was not nervous for a second. No. And I don't know what it was. Like, because college basketball can be so fickle in terms of UConn could have come out when 0 for 35 and they lose that game. That is literally like I, I think I tweeted it. That team plays two perfect halves of basketball. To beat them, yeah. you have to be perfect. They yeah. don't go on scoring droughts like we talked about yesterday. Yeah. They don't miss consecutive shots. Like if you saw Purdue went on two five minute scoring droughts, there was not one graphic that came up on the screen that said UConn was going through a scoring drought. Like they one. play perfect basketball, and to beat them, you have to be perfect. Yeah. And there's nothing about that Purdue team that looked perfect. And when I was watching it, it was the first time I was watching a group of college kids that looked like professionals. Like when Purdue had Purdue had no idea what they were seeing offensively. They had no idea what they were seeing defensively. Like Dan Hurley put a master class on Matt Painter. Like there was not yeah. a second in that game where Braden Smith brought the ball up and knew what he was looking at. And, and it was like, oh, there's going to be two help here. Maybe if I dive, there will be a gap. Like he had no idea what he was looking at the whole game as a point guard. And then the, the, the defensive end, UConn was – passing circles around them yeah guys cutting off ball on ball high screens like it was insane it just looks easy That's like easy thing. It's like dude. just easy and you have to be perfect to beat them and they weren't perfect yeah yeah Yo, um, what's the line wizards yukon opening line <laughs> <laughs> on what court nba court Neutral court but nba court or college court yeah like it's a Stupid. three moved in because what, what rules what rules 
Jordan. Yeah, Pullen, stupid sorry. question. What's the difference? Well, the court's smaller and the and rules the are different too. Isn't the three moved the in? three is shorter? Yeah, did not know that. Jordan Poole would be fucking water with the college three. Yeah. Um, dude, I don't know. I feel like it'd probably be Wizards minus ten and a half. Yeah, yeah they'd be big faves. Yeah, I think that if you play with college rules and Klingon just allowed to stand in the paint the entire game, they would have a way better chance. But I think so too. If they played NBA rules, they'd be so. Cool. I'll tell you what, though, with how bad the Wizards are at defense, I think they would struggle against that. Yeah, they might. Like, like, yeah, I really they do probably think would. They would dude. They probably like Jordan Poole would be like, dude, what the fuck is going on? Like, <laughs> I haven't played defense in five years. Uh, I did want to talk about one other thing really quick. So UConn beat every single team they played in the tournament by double digits. Correct. Yes. Just want vocal confirmation of that. Correct. Um, in the Big East, UConn beat St. John's by five. Marquette by seven, Butler by nine, Providence by nine, Villanova by one, Butler by seven, St. John's by four. Wow. There's not a double digit win in there. And we're and we're telling lost. me that we only got three teams in. So the best team that just, by the way, dog walked every single conference they played in March Madness, the SEC, the Big Ten. I don't even know if they got a chance to play a Big 12 team, but they would have fucking punched them in the dick. They might have actually. Did they have to play a Big 12 team? Who did they play in the second round? I don't remember. But either way, the the team that dog walked literally every conference by double digits and then won the natty, we only got three teams in. Oh, didn't they play San Diego State? We only got three teams in. Yeah, they did. Three teams. Um, Three teams. Since 2000, the Big East is tied for the most championships, and it's not even close with the ACC. Every other conference has, I think, the max is three. I think they have nine. The Big East has nine. Who did UConn lose to this year? Seton Hall by 15. Wow. They didn't Seton Hall, the KU, right? They lost to, I think, was one of them. KU maybe, yeah, early, early. Yeah, and there was one other. They had three early losses, days. yeah. I think one of them was KU because we were, we were looking at it. Oh, Fluffy Bears, how the rest of the conference do? I don't know. The Seton Hall fucking <laughs> won the NIT, and then UConn won the national championship. So I don't think you can find another conference that won a big <laughs> tournament. Well, but I'm pretty sure that's how they did. <laughs> and the Big East is the best conference. Like, I don't even know how we're having a conversation anymore. Like, I don't even know how we have that conversation anymore. After Dan Hurley's speech, I might be on that train. It was Kansas, Creighton, Seton Hall. Creighton, they lost it. So how are we even having a conversation about it? There's no conversation to even be had. It's the most dominant <laughs> conference in basketball since its creation. And the whole Requiem bit. Give me a, give me a break. Yeah. Give me a break. <laughs> also, half the SEC and Big 12 were in the NIT and fucking Seton Hall still won it. So you guys can all suck me. The fluffy the Bears, you're killing me, bro. Hold them accountable. The NIT. Uh, it, but you know what, though? <laughs> if if any other conference won the NIT, I bet we're talking about the NIT. I guarantee you. I guarantee, <laughs> you, we are. I guarantee you we are. I guarantee Probably you we not. are. All right, yeah. So then the best conference, the best tournament in the world. Sorry that a Big East team dog walked every single team. Beat them I mean, yeah, I don't think it's arguable that they were the best conference in basketball this year. Like I don't know it's if that's not. arguable after they after UConn won and they played every team close in that conference. Like, yeah, you must be getting paid by the Big East, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I just uh, that that's the last thing I wanted to say about college basketball. I think the debate is over since 2000. The most national championships tied with the ACC, the Big East is, um, and we've won four of the last eight. How so, m- how many teams have won from the Big East? Just two, right? <laughs> What national championships in the last 20 years, right? Well, just I think if you go back, UConn. Syracuse was in the Big East when Mello won at Syracuse. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, like, the last oh, I guess, yeah. <laughs> what are you giggling at? <laughs> is Mikey saying this while wearing the Providence slides? No, I got <laughs> <laughs> I got my Air Force ones on today. Yeah, no, he's not wearing them. No, I don't got them on, but um, it's crazy that Providence is going to win next year, so just yeah, it's out there. Um, easy, we're going to be an absolute. Also, do you think he leaves now after listening to all this conferences? No, I don't think no, so. not even close. He's staying there. I think he's in for life. <laughs> Love you, Bears. I think he's in for life, dude. As he should be after that. I mean, like, I thought the Kentucky job would be like appealing, but but he, like you got to go for the three P. And if you, you got, win I mean, again, you it's to. if you win again, you're literally you UConn royalty. He already is. You have to. Um, my team didn't reject the NIT. You fucking brain dead bot. <laughs> We played in the first round and we yeah, threw they just six rejected, guys out they there. They just rejected to win in the yeah, first round. Yeah, we threw six guys out there and barely played. Sat our like, best player. Um, but, yeah, the Big East is the best conference. I won't even hear it anymore. I won't even have an argument. I won't entertain it anymore. So just so everyone knows, going into the summer, the Big East is the best ba- basketball conference in the world. So now that college basketball is over, what, what are you going to be a merchant of? Are you an NBA merchant? Um, I'm going to try to get into baseball. We're getting into a lot of soccer. We've got – Champions League on today. Should we do what in the world? Should we run the what in the world? Let's do it. Let's talk about what in the world and then we'll get to the slate.
What in the world? Mikey and Josh. All right, Josh, what, what happened in the world last night? A lot of it, I'm not going to lie to you. A lot of it was what happened in the national championship and all that jazz. There was a couple things that I did like last night that I wanted to talk about. Um, first of all, that the eclipse was actually pretty cool. So cool. I don't know so if anyone sick, else was dialed dude. in on the eclipse, but it was actually pretty sick. So sick. Like I was a fan of it. Um, but I mean, a lot of the stuff I liked last night had to do with the Big East, and I feel like we already talked about it. But um, no, what else happened last night? No, but Nerfie was fucking cake. Yeah, that sucked. <laughs> Is she going to do it again today? Dude, he he's incredibly soft, man. He's already considering retiring it. I'm like, <laughs> dude, you lost $10 <laughs> on the first try. Like, run it back. He's like, nah, dude, nah, dude. Um, I did want to shout this account out because it is now my favorite follow on Twitter behind a couple of other accounts, but Jay Kuda, White Sox fan, he tweets White Sox content and knowing some White Sox fans, it's some of the funniest oh, know, shit I've yeah. ever seen in my entire life. I've seen him. Like it's so just like how bad they are this year is fucking comical. Like some of the shit that he tweets and like, it's like the amount of runs they've scored in April. And then it's like, it's like um, the athletics, the amount of runs they scored in April. And then the amount of double plays the White Sox have grounded out and <laughs> dude, like, kills me. It like literally fucking kills me. But he's so good. Did you see Morgan Wallen? Got yeah, arrested? I did see that. So I'll tell you what, dude. <clears throat> I went to Broadway for a bachelor party. So I was on the street that he was on when he did that shit. And I'll tell you what, dude. I thought the exact same thing. What? Like it's just balconies when you're up there yeah there's no railings there's nothing to stop you from throwing shit and there was a couple times that, like you know i was getting a little fucked up with my buddies and you know we were drinking we were drinking twisted teas because it was, it was tea time and there's a couple times that i was like dude if i really wanted to i could crush this can and throw it over the top no one would know like if i was real real belligerent and like we were like fucking around like i could throw whatever i want off this shit like there's no one to stop you like the security yeah. guards don't really look there's no railings to stop you from doing anything none of the chairs are bolted down so like I could see how that could happen. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you shouldn't do it, right? I'm not saying yeah. you should have done it, but I could see, like, I wasn't shocked at all that he did something like that after being there and like seeing what it's like. Because every bar has a rooftop, yeah, and the rooftops are just open to the street. Like, there's, I'm not even kidding you. It's literally your waist is where yeah. the rooftop. There's just like a sidewalk. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And like, you can literally do whatever you want. Like, the, I was on a building that had to be five stories high, no railings, no They're nothing. You high, could literally yeah. throw whatever you want off the top. Yeah. This is in Nashville. Yeah. Yeah. Have you been? No. Gotta go. Gotta is it, go. Is it like Bourbon Street on Roids or what? Dude, it's the best place to have a beer in America. Why? It's just like the vibe no, down is. there. It's, it's totally just unbelievable. There's like live music at every bar. The bars are like six stories and with like different little bars on each floor. It's so sick. I'll see. Fuck you know about Nashville. No, she knows. <laughs> um, the last thing I wanted to talk about before we talk about some slate, because we got turn on, I want to talk some baseball, I want to talk some uh, NBA, and I want to talk Champions League primarily. Um, did you see John Calipari walked his dog in a stroller yeah, yesterday after that. the announcement that he's leaving for Arkansas? Yeah. yeah. What's um, the bit with people that walking their dog in strollers? I don't understand. My parents do that only because there's coyotes, millions of them, and our dog is a snack to a coyote. Yeah. But that's the only thing I can think of. That or your dog's really old and they can't walk. Literally. Of course. Someone said his dog is super old and sick. Walking in a Dude, we've seen so many dogs turn into snacks <laughs> near our area. And like you hear it at night, bro. Turn They're just getting snacks. mauled. It's scary. It's really scary. You can hear it you at can, night? Yes, dude. You can hear all the coyotes just like fucking doing their mating calls and shit. And you know they're looking for food. And Shih Tzu's turn into snacks. Oh, you have a little Shih Tzu? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. sick um but i don't know i just feel like obviously i'm sure the dog is pretty old so you put in a stroller i've just never liked the move yeah i mean it is interesting i also I mean, have seen people in dallas with fully healthy dogs walking them in strollers when it's hot out it's like okay like what are you <laughs> like what are we doing yeah like you either leave the dog at home or walk the dog like the dog is ready for the weather you know what i mean yeah like and if they get tired go into the shade a little bit maybe get some water out it just also seemed like a really weird move to just put the dog in the stroller after making the biggest announcement of your career thus far <laughs> <laughs> and walk on like the busiest street in Lexington. Apparently Dude, he, he can do whatever the on. fuck he wants. I'm sure he's got plenty of money coming in, but then being like, what do you think about taking the new job? I'm not talking about that today. Yeah. It's like, well, why are you walking on the busiest street an hour after the announcement with your dog in a stroller? Let him live, dude. Do you think that, Let but do live. you think that like, just like, 
whatever he wants to do. No, yeah, I think he can just do whatever the fuck he wants. He's Coach thinking about it. Cal. I, I, I was thinking about it. I might just stay in the house for 24 hours. No, yeah. I'd go out. I, you got a show face. Yeah. But I don't know if you got a show face. I think you'd be like, okay, let's let everyone have their opinions, do whatever, and then I'll go back to living my life. But I guess I guess you kind of be like, fuck the internet. I'm just going to do whatever I want to do. I'm changing my job. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah, <laughs> if you're him, like if you're him, yeah, like who true. gives a fuck? Like I'm about yeah. to go get a bag somewhere else and go try to win somewhere else. That's true. I never thought about it like that, but I guess yeah, that makes sense. I was immediately like, he doesn't dude, owe just stay in your house for 24 hours. Like there's no harm. Yeah, but why are you out in Lexington? He doesn't own. He doesn't owe Kentucky fans anything. Yeah, no, like any couple champions. They might think he does, but he doesn't. The amount that he, they paid him. So. Yeah, <laughs> should have won more than one. He won what? One Natty? Two? Yeah, one. One, one. with Anthony Davis in them. Mm-hmm. Was he? He wasn't there with Boogie and John Wall, was he? Yeah, he was. So he won two. So was that him? That had to have been him. Yeah, I mean, if he was there, like AD won and John Wall won. So. Oh my God! Which, by the way, brings me up to my next thing that I wanted to talk about. Guys. Only one. It's officially happening. I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but it's officially happening. What is it? The younger generation has gotten a hold of phones, and has gotten a hold of sports takes. And they're starting to tear down our goats. And there's now a take of like young kids that think John Wall was mid. And it's happening to us now. <laughs> I feel like it happened to the generation before us when we started getting phones and talking about sports. And it's starting to happen to us. Because if there's people out there that think fucking John Wall was mid, you need to get your brain checked. Watch his high school mixtape and tell me. He's Watch crazy. him in college. Dude, just, I bought Zigtex. Those were the <laughs> yeah. most disgusting, worst <laughs> shoes on the planet. And I bought them because he was that raw. Yeah, I had those two, the, the white and red pair. He had his own song before Mo Bamba. Yeah, he did. He did. That's true. They're starting. It's starting. It's going to happen now. It's happening to us. I feel like it's happening now. Yeah. And I don't yeah. know what to do about it because like. Why do I want to defend John Wall to my death now? Like, I feel like he was a crucial part of my basketball childhood. Like, why do I want to just defend him? Dude, I don't know. I feel like I feel the same way. Kind, of a, kind of a mid-career. Mid-career? I don't know about that. That's nuts. <laughs> I, I mean, don't know about that. I, I haven't seen the dude do anything in five years. Trent's just reading the chat. Yeah, because he's like chat. 100 years old. Trent's just a chat whore, dude. Like, <laughs> no, he's just reading not, this chat, bro. trying to it's buy into like, every is, take they what got. What has he done for me in the last five years? Definitely well, no. Because you haven't bet on him. Yeah, yeah. Has he even shit. been in the NBA in the last five years? Trent's opinion <laughs> on quality of ball player is how many times you've covered for him. It has Absolutely. nothing to do with accolades or like how good you are. If you had like covered a couple spreads for him, then you're like, you're an A1 ball. <laughs> LMNG knows ball. Prime Zero is greater than John Wall. I mean, uh, that's obvious. LMNG don't know. Fucking we ball. know. Do you think that's obvious? What? Prime D Rose over John Wall? Yeah. Dude, we had this debate, and I kind of want to hear your take on it, Josh, because I was so firmly on my side of it, obviously. But Allen Iverson versus Derrick Rose, like there's not a competition, right? Definitely a competition. Absolutely. What do you mean? There's You have Allen Iverson? Oh, yeah, I saw Chelly's TikTok or Snapchat. Like, there's no time. way. Derrick Rose's prime was one year. Derrick Rose's prime was like – It was one year. That's just not true. When you look at the true. stats, it was one year. It was three. Four. He was like the best rookie of all time. And then two years later, won the MVP. Yeah. No, he won the he won the MVP's rookie year. Yeah. No, he didn't his rookie year. He didn't. Yeah, he was no. the youngest, wasn't he? No, he, he was drafted in 2008 and he won in 2011. I don't know if that's... No, that's right. That might I be promise. true. I mean, right. I would trust Josh on that. I would trust Josh on that as well. He won it in 2011. But he, he was drafted in 08. Him and Michael Beasley were like... It was like between him and Beasley for the one pick. It was insane. And then Beasley. obviously... <laughs> Allen Iverson is like... They're not even in the same conversation. Why, though? What do you mean, why? Like, what did Allen Iverson do that? He took the most mid-sixers team of all time to an NBA Finals by himself. I mean, Averaged, like, 33 points a game. Derrick Rose would year. have done the same thing if LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh didn't team up in Miami. <laughs> yeah, but those <laughs> yeah. Rosters, he, would, he had Lou Aldane, Alde, Carlos Boozer, Joe Kim Noah. Like, they're all, like... Do, way better than Dikembe Mutombo at 35 years old and Tony Kukoc averaging 20. Who was their guy? They had a they had a guard that was really good too. Snow, maybe. Yeah, Dude, was... No way we're talking. Eric. No, I, yeah, I think yeah, he was wrong. No way we're talking about Eric. He was Snow. an all star. Not... Compared to Kirk Heiner, Joe Kim, Noah, Carlos Boozer, Eric, Lou Dang. What's up? Come I mean, on. Come on. Come that's on. a that's a ridiculous argument. What is that? It would be a no contest. No contest. 
That's that's wild. It would be a contest. I really don't think so. Like, I genuinely do not think so. What? Why? Uh, Allen Iverson was unconscious. I mean, not the time or place for this debate or argument, but um, I just think there's a little bit too much dick riding on Derrick Rose now that we've gotten down the path of Damn. how old he is. And I know the injuries, like he's the number one, like probably the only guy. He's the biggest what if in NBA history. Yeah, for maybe. sure. I think probably in all of sports, the yeah. biggest what if. I also think he's the only guy, including every like washed high school athlete that can be like, if I didn't have that knee injury, I could have been the greatest of all time. <laughs> Yeah. Like if I have to hear one more like washed high school athlete that like almost played college ball or like a washed college athlete that almost played pro ball, be like that back didn't give out or my knee didn't yeah. fucking go. Like I had so many buddies in fucking high school that thought they were going to go lead to the league if they didn't like tear their meniscus. Like he's the only guy that has that card. I feel like that has that. Yeah. Pass. Like a legit. Well, he won the MVP. Yeah. He's going to be, he's going to be the only MVP ever not to be in the hall of fame potentially. Yeah. Which is crazy. That is crazy. I think is he going to be the only one? Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they might put him in. They better. I feel like he might, dude. They might be like, he might have the card to get him into the hall. Dude, he was a guy like John Wall. Like he came out with shoes. Like he came out with Adidas shoes, which is like nobody sick. was doing. It was like him and fucking Dwight Howard had Adidas shoes at the time. The D Roses. Everyone were sick. was wearing D Roses. They were sick. at least in Chicago. Everyone was. I mean, they were sick. Yeah. I remember like Derek. Like that was his his MVP year was a phenomenon. Like it was like holy was shit, insane. this kid is unbelievable. Dude, him going to the rim was like actually the most unstoppable thing of I all. I just time. wish he learned how to land. Yeah, he did. It just like he's too explosive. Dude. That's what it was. He <laughs> His was just body too just couldn't handle yeah. it. That's what it was. <laughs> His body couldn't handle it. All right, should we serve some slate? <clears throat> Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know it's good welcome back to the slate surfers we're surfing the slate we got trenton stew josh and stew should we do a little recap yesterday i said the pirates let's go remember guys i'm learning ball along with you so if you're betting baseball with me just know that you're learning ball with me i don't know ball so when i'm picking games like just know that i'm not picking games because i know ball right now i'm starting to get into it so you're learning with me as we go we said the pirates yesterday smacked I said the Mariners because I can't stop betting on them. That was a fucking donation. They're moose. They're moose. We said the Phillies. Oh, I said the Phillies. Yeah, you did. And then Nick said, don't take the Phillies. But I took the Phillies. And they beat the Cardinals. That was big. Um, did we say the Astros? I don't think we said anything. We didn't. I don't think we said the Astros. That over was um, oh, we said the Cubs. And, that was a, and then I said the Diamondbacks minus one and a half against the Rockies. So I think we went two and three. Yeah. What I've That's learned moose. in baseball, <clears throat> biggest piece of advice to baseball betters. You have a confident play and it doesn't hit, run it back the next day. Yes, dude. We talked about that. Every time, dude. On Sunday Night Baseball, I was so confident that game was going to have 12 runs. Literally only three runs. Balls balls on tape for the game to go over on Monday. Literally almost hit in the first inning. That was Rangers-Astros, yes. right? Yes. 10 to 5. Yeah. So is the Cubs today? So it, it, I think it so by that logic, we'd go Diamondbacks minus ones and the Cubs. The D backs, oh my god, dude, the D backs didn't cover last mm -hmm. night, they didn't even win. No, they lost. Yeah, we had the we, I was pretty firm on the D backs too. That, that was the one that I remember, other than the Pirates being I mean, like, I'm dude, firm this on. might be the matchup we want Merrill Kelly against Kale Quantrill. Like, that's yeah, that you, feels yeah, good. I'm like on that. the over. That feels yeah. good, dude. That feels good. Over I'm 11. Shot. You gotta to dial 11. into overs, bro. They've been hitting at like 80 percent this year. No, well, I just don't know ball, so I need to like, I need to know the teams before I bet overs. Yeah, you know what I mean. I mean, dude. That game's total was 11. Yeah, we, I mean, well, it's in it's Colorado. In Colorado. Right? It's yeah, in Coors, yeah. But anytime Cal Quantz was on the mound, fade the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah. <laughs> okay, systems. I kind of want to go back to the Pirates again today. I'll be honest. I just like this team KC this year. Against, against I like KC. this team this year. They are good. Um. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that game. Do you have no thoughts? Honest. I would take the under in that game. System you take play. the under in that game? System play. Okay. Oh, because it's the Stand earliest game? early game. Okay. Corbin Burns against Brian Bello on the Red Sox. Bayo. Ooh. Red Sox hobo, home opener. Do you go the Sox at plus chicken? Are they plus chick? Who's pitching? Um, Bayo. Bayo. And who else? Corbin Burns. Ooh. I know. That's tough. That's a tough one. Uh, Do you go the Sox at plus value, chicken? Good value at plus chick with Bayo on the bump. 
Um, Maybe the Sox plus ones. I could see that game going over, honestly. With those two on the bone? Yeah. I need a Devers yeah. hog. That's all I really need in that game. All right. Well, I won't, I won't waste a lot of time. On it. Are we fading the Marlins in every game? They're awful, bro. Holy I just want to know. Are we fading them in every game? I, mean, I think we could fade them today. Who, Yankees minus one and a half. Oh, I love I love the Yanks today. They have uh, Rodon yeah. against AJ Puck. That dude blows. Dude, so God. the Yankees minus one and a half. And how do we not keep fading the White Sox? Yeah, who are they? Oh, the Guardians. I don't trust the Guardians. I trust them when they play the White Sox. Narrative. Tim Wakefield, veteran knuckleballer, passed away. Uh, he was like a Red Sox Hall of Famer. They're they're uh, honoring his jersey pregame in Fenway. Okay. So the Sox, a plus chick. Sox, a plus chick. Is I like the Sox, a plus chick. Yeah. Then. I love that, actually. Now, that might be the, the play of the day. Sox, a plus chick. Um, what's the deal with the Mets? Why'd they win yesterday? Someone explain <laughs> to me how that happened. Are the Braves bad? What's going on with, in Atlanta? I know Strider's out, but are the Braves bad? Um, no. no, they're not. Wait, they're not. What's the line? Atlanta's minus 195. Yeah. After losing. They should have fucking won that game, man. They sold the Fugazi five. Um, their bullpen is trash, Peyton. They're trash. I really love the Phillies against the Cardinals again. Back against the wall, fade dog shit poverty. Yeah. Fade the Oakland A's, fade the White Sox. The Rangers are playing the athletics now. I'm making the run line. The Rockies too. Just fade them. I'm fading the fuck out of the Oakland A's today. You have Aldi on the bump. Come All on, right. Lauren. Do you guys want my plays? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go the Pirates again. The Sox at plus chicken. I'm going to bet these. I'm going to try to keep it to four or five. The Sox at plus chicken. Yankees minus one and a half. The Phillies. And the Dimebacks minus one and a half. Okay. Two of those are going back to what we had yesterday. And I feel like I just don't. Dude, when I bet on the Padres, they fuck me. When I bet against them, they fuck me. I don't want to do it. And it feels like Musgrave on the bump used to be a systems. But I don't want to do it. Because I don't trust the Padres. Pirates, Red Sox, Yankees by two, Phillies, D backs by two. Yeah. Does well, that, Phillies not by two. D-backs. That Cubs line yeah. looks really weird, I think. I do, I do the too. Two names, like, I agree. I, I honestly have no idea who the fuck Ben Brown is. I don't know either. Like, no idea who that is. I don't know. How about, plus 114 against Joe Musgrove. How about Mike Trout this year coming for his revenge? He's is he playing well. Oh my God. He's leading the league in home runs. Uh, he's up there, up there in batting Trout average. Down. Uh, he's killing it, dude. And he chalked Nobu Nerfy yesterday <laughs> with a with a fucking triple. Well, so what are your what are yours? My plays today. The over. What are you look at? Well, what are you looking at on the board? I'm looking at who's tossing turkeys. We know Quantrill's tossing turks and cores. Is he a turk tosser? Absolutely, oh, yeah. the biggest. The over in that game. We got Cole Reagans on the Royals pitching today. I'm too scared to take the plus cheeky Royals and fading the Astros, so I'm taking the under in that game. And then I have the Rangers by two. And Dodgers first five with Glasnow. Wow. Could be a 4 0 MLB card. That could be. Wow. Where did the Dodgers play? Is Glasnow back to being good or what? Yeah, he's good. And the Twins strike out a fuck ton. So I took his Green Gobby Ks. Um, don't be afraid of the Green Gobby shot. Don't be afraid of them. I took one yesterday. I hit a PP entry yesterday with the Green Gobby. Yeah, they're, they're your friends. Even though the payouts aren't what you want them to be. It's better than just throwing a fucking demon in there and getting shocked. Are you betting on anything else today other than the MLB? Uh, I've got two NBA plays. Wow. I've got – so the Bucks have historically reached a new level of moose shit. They have lost four straight games as double-digit favorites, which has never happened. They're playing the best team in the NBA tonight, and they're only a two-and-a-half-point dog in the Celtics. And they're at home. Um, I know it could be the worst wager of the fucking day, but I'm taking the Bucks plus two and a half. I love that. Yeah, I like that a lot. I also just did Boston one and a half now. Sell, Holy fuck, dude! Boston I see two loves and a half right to here. sell. Yeah, I got two and a half right here too. Boston loves to sell. Yeah. Too. Uh, so I'm taking that, and then I also am taking the Clippers plus seven and a half. I think that's a lot of points against the Suns, and the Clippers are starting to figure it out, coming off a huge comeback win from like 26 points. Uh, no Kawhi, obviously. I expect PG and Harden to keep that one close in a potential playoff matchup. Dude, I just don't think Dame Lillard has championship winning DNA in him. He doesn't know how to win. We'll see. Like he doesn't win. We'll see when they get to the playoffs. Well, like, he didn't win. They're you looking give him so bad before, though. But... 
Yeah. I think they'll be fine. Did you see him working out with that water ball? Yeah. What are, oh, they, what are they doing over there? Is that you that know. quotes me on that or something? No, I didn't quote you. I that. saw it too. <laughs> like, what is he? What are they doing over there? <laughs> <laughs> like, what are they actually doing over there? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It looked kind of hard, didn't it? It did look there? hard. Yeah. Uh, I, I guess do... it, like, works all your arm muscles, yeah. right? But... And probably your stomach. Probably have to... <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like if they had audio on that video he was he was doing that he was like, <laughs> nerfy in 10 minutes yeah i have it i'm pretty nervous about it um i love the bucks i also like taking the spurs whenever they're a favorite against musha teams their favorite against the grizzlies today i like the spurs minus four and a half that's a good that's a good play against yeah. the musha grizzlies all right should we talk a little champions league before we got to get out of here Let's do it. we got two games on today two great games on like today. great games when do they start um two o'clock two o'clock yeah Arsenal Bayern. The Champions League is back. And I think we should get a little horny with it. That's what I'm thinking. I think it's the over and also and uh, but, but I think it's the over and Arsenal Bayern. I love that. I also think if you want a sneaky goal scorer, who used to literally dog walk the Premier League in goal scoring before he left for Germany? Is it Mr. Harry? It's Mr. Harry King. Dude, his, you're his telling shots me, on PP is green as mom. And you're telling me he's going up against an English Premier League defense again? Dude, I feel like... You're telling me Harry Kane's going up against an English Premier League defense <laughs> again? And oh, wait, who's on that right wing of Bayern that also used to dog walk Premier League defenses? That I don't know. Leroy Sané. Mm. Oh, I knew that. Manchester City product. Yeah. You're telling me you got two guys that used to dominate the Premier League at the highest level? Won multiple Premier League title. Well, not Harry, but Leroy. And now they come up against an Arsenal defense in the Champions League. Why do I want to take Bayern? Dude, why are they plus 400? Why do I want to take Bayern? I feel like it's not a bad bet, like Bayern in the Champions League. Why plus do I want to take Bayern? I wonder what, like, what the draw no bet is. Yeah, they're plus 265 draw. Well, we're in. We'll, we'll keep in mind. We're in London. I understand that. But, but there's two guys that aren't going to be rattled by that. Yeah. And one of them. It's the guy you need. <laughs> I really think it's the over, though. Two and a half minus 128. I love the over in this game, Arsenal Bayern. I think there's going to be goals. I don't think Bayern is what they used to be when they had the Jerome Boatangs and the fucking, um, oh my God, what was his name? Matt Hummels. Mm. Remember, he left yeah. Dortmund too, that little bastard. Um, but they're just not who they used to be. And this Arsenal offense is, this I mean, is. they're clicking. Yeah. They're clicking. They're gross. Odegaard is finally. Do you remember when he got signed? I don't know if you were ever a footy guy, like really in the culture of footy. Do you remember when he got signed to Real Madrid? I do not. At 16 years old. I do so not. Martin Odegaard got signed from Norway to Real Madrid at 16 years old. And everyone's like, dude, like in his introduction, they made him like meet Ronaldo and they did like photos of him and Ronaldo because they were like, this kid's going to be the fucking future of soccer. And like his highlights came out in like the Norwegian league and he was like so gross at 16. Ended up not being anything until like now. So <laughs> kind of fucking sick. He ended up being like, <laughs> They tried to play him, and he was just, like, not good enough because that was, like, prime Real Madrid, like Ronaldo, Di Maria, like, all those guys. And he was just, like, on loan everywhere, and then he's finally found a hole in Arsenal. Pause. But, dude, he's <laughs> fucking – he's good. And this Arsenal offense is good. They're clicking. And I don't see Bayern being able to stop them scoring. I could I could see this being a 2-2 draw, dude. I really could see this being a 2-2 draw, but I really want – I don't hate that. And I don't know why, dude. I it's don't know why. I really, really, really want to take Bayern in this matchup. You could get Bayern plus a half at plus 115. I know. I saw that too, dude. I'm definitely taking the over two and a half. Uh, that's my favorite bet of this game. I think Arsenal, Bayern, you're going to get goals in the Champions League, in London, England. You're going to get goals. So over two and a half, I love that. That I'm for sure putting a large wager on. But in terms of the side, dude... Couldn't tell you a damn thing. I just don't know, dude. I don't know. Real Madrid, Man City. We're in Madrid. <laughs> Shit's wrong. And I got news for you. If you're not taking Man City at any line this year, you're just dumb. Like, I just got, like, I I know this is, like, Real Madrid and, like, Jude Bellingham is, like, the guy. But, dude, I mean, I like, I, they don't put teams together like Man City. No. Like, this team, literally 11 through 15 could all be starters on Champions League teams right now. There's not a single guy in the Man City bench that couldn't be a starter on a single Champions League team right now. Like, I, I don't care what the line is. You can get Man City at plus 150. Yeah. I feel like that's just, you have to click that button. Yeah. 
Who's stopping Halan? Nobody. nobody. I mean, who in the Who's going to stop KDB? Him? Nobody. Like, I just don't. Those two together are actually fucking insane. Like, actually insane. Disgusting, dude. Probably the best, what, center attacking mid in the last 20 years. One of them. Probably the best striker center attacking mid duo maybe of all time yeah. when they hang them up. Yeah. Like, what they're doing to defenses is disgusting. And by the way, okay, you go, okay, Jude Bellingham, he plays in the middle now, right? Everything goes through him. Who's Man, Man City CDM that just puts seatbelts on everyone? Rodri. I mean, the guy's fucking disgusting. Yeah. So, like, do I trust Real Madrid? To, like, I don't even want to take this over. I feel no, like it I might would, be City 2 nothing. I think I could see it being, like, what is it, 2 and a half? The over? Yeah, both overs are juiced, by the way. Mm. I could see this being yeah. Man City 2 nothing, and Real Madrid just can't get anything going. I don't know why that, why that feels that way to me right now, but it does. It really does. I don't disagree. I, mean, I think it's Man City. Oh, dude, but you know what, though? Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it is the over, dude. I feel like you could get like a 2-1 Man City, 3-0 Man City. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I think I think Man City could put three. That's kind of what I was thinking. Do you want to go both overs? All right, both, o both overs in the Champions League. <laughs> All right, fine. Fuck it. Root for goals <laughs> in the Champions League. We root for goals in the Champions League. We take Man City money line, and I don't think we touch a side in Arsenal-Bayern until I see the official lineups. Okay. So both overs. Both overs. Pega, you just decided to wake up and bitch today, huh? Why? What is he bitching about? I can't say. Everything, bro. This will make you feel good about the first over, Mike. So Arsenal's team total for goals is over one and a half minus 145. So heavy juice on the over there. Yep. And then Bayern, their team total at 0. 0.5 is minus 210. Oh, so you're, That's all you need. You're getting it. You should be getting it. You're, I mean, we should be getting it. <laughs> is Pega shitting on me right now? I can't read the chat. No, Chote's just telling you to sack up. And do what? <laughs> sack up and nuke. That's all he ever said. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm sacking up. I'm nuking both overs in the Champions League. I think if you want to talk about prize picks, the way that I see this game going, I think I think Harry Kane's shots is a fantastic look against an English Premier League defense that he's eaten on for his entire career. And keep in mind, Arsenal Tottenham is kind of a little rivalry as well. People might forget. So this is also kind of a revenge spot for Harry Kane in terms of sunning a team that, you know, they they don't have great blood between. Mm -hmm. um, I could also see if you want to talk Real Madrid, Man City, Rodri passes. I think they always have him up on the board passes attempted. I think the way that this game is going to go, Man City has close to 60% possession and Man City loves to play from the back. And he's the guy that pulls the strings and gets it to KDB, who then finds Holland on a on a go. So I think those two I like in terms of squares if they're up there. But I'm definitely going to have to look a little bit more into it. But that's 11.33, and our time is up. If both the games go over, Pega gets a weak ban. Why? What is he saying? He's just saying you don't know ball. Okay. We could take a sec, too. No one's in the queue. So I also want to bring something up. Yeah, can I you just, please? I was just going through this board. Yeah. There is a prop to score a penalty for all four teams. They're all – so what, Arsenal's plus 340, Bayern plus 550, Real Madrid plus 425, Man City plus 425. If you take all of those and one of them scores a penalty, you make coin. You covered, yeah. That'd be a fun little bet to sweat. Just take all, I could see all Arsenal the teams Tottenham score a penalty. being the penalty. That just feels like a sloppy defense somewhere finds yeah. them. And then you win money. No matter you know what, what I mean? maybe you get two and then you go fat coin. Well, so I will say this. I'm not as dialed as I once was in a soccer, but I've really the past couple of weeks been getting redialed in because I just, I need something to bet on. And soccer is my favorite sport or football. But um, if you're not betting on the Champions League, grow up. Yeah. I mean, it's electric. literally grow up. It's electric. Who would you pick? Just not knowing anything, Trent, because I feel like sometimes you pick soccer and it immediately turns red. So right, who would you I don't pick? know shit about either game. Tell me the first game. Uh, Bayern Munich Arsenal. <coughs> Bayern. Real Madrid Man City. Man City. Yeah, it's an 0 2 card. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally going to be, I bet Real Madrid and Man City draw and Arsenal wins because I love both of those two. <laughs> that is, that's a nightmare scenario. Have you made a PP entry yet today? Um, yes. Do you want to talk through it for a little bit? Maybe yeah. for like two minutes? I've got uh, both strikeouts for Reagans and Glasnow at on the Green Gobby lines. And then I've got Mike Trout fantasy score, James Harden PRA, Sabonis RA, 
and Giannis points. That's my six man. Are you going to lock in Andrew Nimhard and Cameron Mugusty points? Or? <laughs> oh, my God. That is today, isn't it? <laughs> it yeah. is today. Mugusty. <laughs> That's such a green job. Mugusty. <laughs> All right. So here's what I'm going to tell you, Trent. This is the soccer entry that you can sweat while you're on surgical stream. Need it. Harry Kane shots. I actually do love that. I know it's the most popular square on the board, but, I mean, give me a break. I'm in. Oh, wait, but maybe we go Phil Foden shots instead. I just need the shit out, Mikey Green. Go be. Because it almost hit yesterday. Should have hit yesterday. Literally should have hit yesterday if that fucking bot took more than one three. Yeah. That is so disappointing. I'm not even kidding you. I was pissed. You know what I actually love? I mean, I already talked about it, but he'd have to attempt 100 passes. That's just, that feels like a little much for me. 100 passes? Phil Foden pass attempts and Harry Kane shots. All right, I'm locking that two piece in. I'm putting 200 on that. All right, as always, ladies and gentlemen, we end every episode with a little inspiration, a little motivation. Now that college basketball is over, I'm not going to lie. I feel like I don't know what to do with myself. I got to figure out another sport to bet on. I got to learn ball like I've never learned a ball before in sports that I don't really watch. So I'm going to give you a little advice. Just take one step forward. That's what I did this morning. I literally woke up and I was a little depressed. I'll be honest with you. Hand up. Because I just love college sports and I love everything about college in general and the athletics. And I didn't know what to do with myself. I woke up today. I saw there was soccer on. I saw there was some MLB on and I didn't know what to do with myself. But you know what? I'm going to take one step forward. I'm not asking you to sprint. I'm not asking you to jog. Just take one step forward for me, even if it's the hardest thing you have to do today. Thank you, guys. As always, you stay right there. We got BTL coming up next. They're going to go through every board, every slate, every player that you need that you're going to bet on today if you want to tail them. And then right after that, we got the surgical stream where Trent's going to see what the community is on. All right? Good morning, good afternoon, good night from the morning after. We'll be here tomorrow morning, same time, same place. Love you guys so much. Appreciate you. Closing time. One last call for alcohol. So finish your whiskey or beer. You think Atlanta's point guard is good for 20 tonight? No question. You hear he got name dropped on that new song? He feeling himself for sure. Ever since that track drop, he been on fire. The hook literally says his name eight times in a row. He might go for 30. With that much hype, I'd lock in. That's just me. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Cash in on your sports fandom with prize picks. <laughs> Yo. You think Dallas is power four gonna drop 30 tomorrow? Why are you tripping? Did you see his mom made a post about going to the game? What? Hold up. Is mama gonna be there? He's been averaging like 34 points a game when she's there. At least 40 when she be on that Jumbotron. He don't like to let his mama down. <laughs> pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Cash in on your sports fandom with prize picks. Somebody grab me our broom ski, please. Because the boys might have just clean swept the board, and by we might, we did. Crabs, how much do you think your pool bobblehead is worth? I said this when I got it. Um, just an AI, you know, bobblehead, just like a stock bobble, is probably worth more. Um, I mean, they couldn't give away all those bobbles. What a joke. We need under 5.1. There he goes. Holy shit, this is fucking huge. He ain't getting it. Motherfucker, man. What are we doing, bro? This guy is fucking massive. Oh, fuck. How many fingers? What? You're holding up fingers? <laughs> Definitely the meal of a man who just doesn't know what's season I'm not gonna lie. We need to be able to close out games and keep leads. Don't take your foot off the gas pedal, all right? It might be brighter now, you fucking bozo.
Are we really betting NIT? Like, is that what we're doing? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Of course. Of course. NIT's electric. Yeah, you bet spring team. training and fucking darts, but you're drawing the line the NIT, man. <laughs> I don't want to hear shit. First game of the season, you're telling me you got a hole in your glove? What are you using, your fucking grandpa's mitt from World War II? What are we doing? You're Jake Cronenworth. You're a millionaire. That glove looks like it's been through hell and back. Let's get you a new glove for the season, brother. You had all offseason to break that shit in. How about a rare A-team patch? Rare. A-team yeah. stock is kind of soaring lately. Okay, recently, in recent weeks, Ravon, A-team stock got B-team stock Kind of back. I mean, yeah, I think we just square up for catch. Don't ever think it. Take the show hand, Luca, last night and go back to your day. There's no way that fucking ends. Yeah, fair enough. Do you have any squad ride plays you need in there? I didn't hear shit. He's like, I feel like I'm talking to a guy on Mars right now. What is going on, guys? Happy BTL Tuesday, episode 444 piece. Would you believe that? Um, as always, hold the fry, joined by your two hosts, Krabs and Javon, presented by Picket Sports. If you guys aren't using Picket to track your bets, what are you doing? Do you live under a freaking rock? Start tracking your bets today. All right, it could not be easier to set up your accounts. It takes three seconds. All right, we'll drop the link from our beautiful mods in chat if you want to download Picket and get involved and start tracking your bets. And Javon, I'm seeing we've got some early action from the Tigers. Let's go. Yes. We're on the up. boards. Break up. Give me some more. There we go. Sure. We got a squad ride cash from yesterday. We got the Tigers up 1-0 early. Love to see that. All right. Great start. A lot of ball game left, though. And we still got two runners on with Gio Urshela up. Come on. Come on, chat. And immediate ground ball. Great play by the shortstop. Turning two. I fucking bet. All right. Immediate jinx there. Can't make it up, but we'll take a one-run lead in the first. W's, Javon, how are we feeling on this Tuesday morning? Feeling great. Always but, good to wake up after a little squad red cash. Sure. 100%. Let's flash it for the people. Let me get this puppy activated here. We've got a squad ride. W in the natty last night, 144 and a half. Let's fucking go, chat. Sure we can. It was never Purdue. It was always the Huskies. All right. They were just too fucking good. Javon, thoughts on UConn? I mean, just dominance over the last two years. They covered and won every spread in the tournament. Both years. Insane. Crazy. Yeah. It, absolute legacy run. We haven't seen many like this. I mean, obviously, since Florida, who went back to back. But other than that, I mean, we haven't seen anything remotely close. That's just like a crazy, crazy run, crazy team they got going on over there. Yeah. I mean, they absolutely tweaked. Respect. Hats, hats off to UConn. It was their year. Nobody was beating that team. Holy smokes. I don't even know if that Kentucky team we crafted up with Cal Perry's best players would have beaten that team. Uh, they were just built different. Unbelievable run. Um, holy smokes. Let's flash up the um, sharp report from yesterday, too. How about a little sweep for the kids? Yeah, a little, little, little crab sweep job. Love a little, little crab sweep for the kids. Huh? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Five and out. How about that? Nimmo hitting two nukes. I knew there was something fishy going on with that run square that was up. Come on now. And he sure. hit two fucking balls out. He's got more RBIs in that game than Pete Alonso has all season. So um, not ideal, okay? But um, a nice little sweep for the kids yesterday. Javon, uh, the Brewers, they showed heart late. It wasn't enough. And Luis Castillo only walked one guy. But besides that, we'll take a three and two day and go about it, right? All day, especially when one of those ends up being squad ride. We love that. Yep, 100%. That's all that matters, chat. That is all that matters is a squad ride W. We've now smacked another one to start the week off. That could be the difference. All right, we've hit two of our last three. Let's stay locked in. Let's stay dialed. You guys clicked the right buttons yesterday with that under. Let's smack another one today. All right, why not us? Chad, how we doing? How we feeling? We got Pega resubbing here um, for 15 months. Let's go, Pega. Sure we can. I only resub because of BTL and Fruity Existence, my kids. Well, all right, Pega. We'll, we'll take what we can get there. W sub. Appreciate you, beast. All right. Um, some tough love from Pega that we're used to there. Chat, how are we feeling? All right, yeah, don't let me get hot. It might be too late here. Slow start to April, all right? But we're starting to get going here. We knew that would not last, all right? Um, Rockies hit two, Javon Elite call. Yeah, dude, great fucking call. Yeah, it's the great beginning call. of the end. Beginning of the end for Zach. Great Love call. Love to see that. Yep. We needed to hit him to give up some runs there, and he finally did. Gave up plenty of hits, too. It looks like the regression monster is on the way. Might be knocking at his door already. Maybe. I think his next, right? start, next start is kind of in uh, Phoenix against the cards, so maybe maybe not yet, but it's coming. 
he's probably gonna throw a perfect game against the Cardinals. Yeah, he might. He just might. But hey, when it goes on the road, especially in course, he's looking bad. Usually, Cy Young in course too. So I was tempering my expectations somewhat, but he was he was worse than I expected. Yeah, he did have 10 Ks that I got to tip your cap. Insane yeah. to give up, hey. you know, to have that type of outing. Sure, get as many Ks as you want. Get 20. Yeah, you can get Fuck 25 it. Ks if you want. <laughs> Go ahead and strike out the whole fucking lineup. He gave up three runs. Oh, man. That's what we're asking. Yeah, strike everybody out. Who cares? Yeah. Uh, we got Pittsburgh up to the dish right now. Looks like we already got one out. 2-1 count. Brian Reynolds is up. Jack, keep me updated if you guys are at the game. If you're in the future, let me know. All right, looks like Brian Reynolds is out for out number two at the bottom of the first. W's, let's keep that moving to groove. Let's keep that moving to groove. All right, Jack, keep me updated. Keep us dialed. I've got Detroit ML plus 105. Javon, did you end up taking the Tigers on the I ML did, today? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. All right. Love that. Uh, let's check out what else we got going on over here. Um, we will go over some Dinger Tuesday stuff today, guys. The college basketball is done. All right. It's women's and men's. The season's over. Um, it's getting to that time of year um, in the betting space where it's the dog days of summer. They're on the way, right? So we still have NBA playoffs coming up. We have NHL playoffs coming up. Those are going to be awesome. We are going to be betting those, all right, without a doubt. I know I'm not the biggest NBA guy. Javon's been carrying a lot on the NHL as well and had some really good NBA plays, you know, this season too. Uh, but we will definitely be hopping into both those playoffs and betting them um, every night going forward. And then once those end, though, officially the dog days of summer will be here. We only have baseball. You guys are going to need us, all right, because we're tapped in. We're dialed to the MLB slate day in and day out. Um, it really proves, you know, who's a man, who's a boy. Uh, that time of year when it comes to betting. <laughs> that's for sure. I saw some tweets about that. I was geeking. Um, gosh, man, we've got dog days of summer ahead of us. But look, we bitch about no baseball when it's not here. And then it's the only thing we've got in the summer. We'll take it. All right. We'll be fine sweating out, you know, prize picks entries throughout the day. Um, I'm not going to complain with it just only being baseball chat. So stick around. All right. I know it gets kind of quiet in the summer when it's just baseball, but we are not going anywhere. All right. That's my point. We're not fucking leaving. All right, guys, um, Javon, I'm stoked, man, to go over some baseball. We'll do some more, you know, BTL exclusive podcasts going over MLB as well. Um, it's been a good start to the season. My Nats are showing some heart on the road once again. Could be worse. All right, Ellie had a legacy day yesterday. What else is going on in the world of baseball? Your Rays are kind of struggling? Yeah, a little bit, but it's to yeah. be expected when they're playing with half the team. Um, I don't know. I'm just I'm focused on the Reds because they're super exciting. We're getting some Ellie stolen bags too. If I had to lose, I didn't lose too much coin yesterday. Uh, it's pretty good, but one uh one of the units I did lose was on the Brewers, and I will gladly donate that unit if it takes an Ellie legacy game and stolen base for the goat whale and a Will Benson nuclear missile lefty lefty. So that that happens. You just tip the cap, and I love that. It's hilarious whenever Will Benson does anything. The feed is just like everybody adding Javon. <laughs> being like great call Javon oh my gosh unbelievable every time I see Will Benson I think of Javon because he called him before the season being that guy I mean yeah he hit a fucking nuke off a of lefty last night and sure Ellie had two home runs one inside the park and one off the batter's eye I also saw he did his first post-game interview in fully English which is pretty cool I don't know if you checked out that vid but he was so fucking hype afterwards uh, when the guy who was doing the interview was like Ellie congrats on your first uh interview in all English you could see he was like jumping up and down he was fucking stoked so um, good for baseball. I'm sure Ellie was hype. It's not the easiest thing ever. People forget these guys don't speak English when they come over here uh, and they're learning and they're also learning how to fucking play an MLB in the league as well, too. These guys are so young. A guy like Ellie looks like he's already 30 years old, but there's still so much to learn for him. It's going to be unbelievable watching his career develop in the next couple seasons. He's going to be speaking, insane. speaking of Ellie really quick. Uh, I, this is a uh, on Twitter. So people can check it out. We'll put it on the screen because we're already in piss screen sharing, but you see what William Contreras said? about Ellie what do you say he was like they're they're asking about the game he just had and he was like yeah Ellie is a good player but he's you know nothing special I said he's like he's not from another world he's not anything crazy so I can guarantee you I was planning on tweeting this out post series because I was a little worried because the uh the Brewers kind of own the Reds but I felt like Ellie was about to go on like a legacy run and obviously we saw what I think is the start of it yesterday he might be a little pissed off in this series yeah, I mean, he was even talking about it in that post game, saying, you know, these guys beat us a lot last year, but we're going to get them. We're going to battle, and we're going to beat the Brew Crew this season. So good start for the Reds, pulling off that win. We know the Brewers dominated them last season. That was part of their issues, and not making the playoffs late as well. Um, maybe it'll be a little bit different this season. I would love to watch it. All right, we'll yeah. see how it goes. I'm in. 
Um, all right, guys. People forget Shelly asked if Inside the Park counts as a season long. You're goddamn right it does, Brock. You're goddamn right it does. All right, that's okay. We need Shelly locked into the ice. If he's asking questions like that, that's okay. That means he's down on the ice. All right, I'm yeah. not worried about that. Fair. Dubs. Um, Jordan Walker, Loki Buns. Eh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens with Jordan Walker. All right. What else, guys? You want to go over the Sharp Report for today or you want to go over Dinger Tuesday first, chat? What do you guys want to talk about? Do you want to go over some nukes? Do you want to go over our best plays of the day? Where do you want to start? Where are we dropping? Any plays for the Masters? We're going to get our guy Kenny on here tomorrow, uh, at Kill Kenny on Twitter, who's a golf uh, betting expert, I'd honestly call him, because he focuses a lot of time on that. We'll get him on here tomorrow and see if he's got any Masters picks for the people. All right, so don't miss tomorrow's show. Uh, we will talk some Masters futures on Wednesday, because I know the Masters starts up, I believe, really early on Thursday, so we're not going to be able to talk about it then. We'll get it over with. We'll do it tomorrow with Kenny on BTF. All right, guys? Um, A-Bird getting his green jacket. People forget he called that dude, and he's turned Crazy into one call. of the greatest young stars of the sport. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, awesome, guys. Let's go ahead and hop into the Sharp Report. All right, we'll show you guys some winners for today. Um, I've already got one active right now with Detroit. They are up one to nothing in the top of the seconds. Looks like Cole Keith is getting up to the dish. He's probably not going to do anything against a lefty. And he immediately rolls over one, and he's out. Okay. Uh, Detroit ML, I'm not going to explain it. It's already active. Javon, you want to head to Baltimore? What do you like about the O's? We can head to Baltimore. Um, I, I want a bounce back outing from Corbin Burns. And it's not to say he wasn't good against the Royals, but uh, for Corbin Burns, anytime you have an outing, especially against a team like the Royals and the strikeout stuff isn't there, it's a little concerning may not be the right word, but it's it's not a typical Corbin Burns start. And you could tell he was a little frustrated with that. So Going into this game, I think he's going to be significantly better. I think he's going to have a solid outing. But on the other side, too, uh, talked about this, really have talked about this since Brian Bayo has been in the league. Uh, he struggles with lefties, and that didn't really change when he went to face, you know, the A's of all teams. And who do you have for the Orioles? You have Gunnar Henderson. You have Adley Rushman. You have Anthony Santander. So prove it to me that you can start pitching to lefties because we haven't seen it. And this lineup is – uh, coming off a little bit of a letdown in that Pirate series, uh, they weren't good. Obviously, not the best hitting conditions in Pittsburgh, but uh, a couple flops on performances there against a really good pitching staff. Now I think they started to bounce back. Not the greatest hitting conditions, I think, in this game either, but I think this is a, a game where, like, one big mistake is going to decide the game, and I think it's going to come from the arm of Brian Bayo. So I like the Orioles. Muted potentials. You think Bayo is going to get lit up a little bit today? And maybe that's why that over is a little high? A little bit. A little bit. Okay. I mean, right. for the for the seemingly not great hitting conditions there, it is a, a little weird that it's kind of perching eight, borderline eight and a half. But it just might be a Turk or two that decides it for Bayo. It might just be a Turk or two, folks. Okay. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, Javon. Um I don't hate the play because I was looking at this and initially, you know, the Red Sox at this short of a dog, you know, interested me. But then I looked into it and I thought about all the bets I've had against the O's over the last two years. It doesn't matter when they're short. It doesn't matter at all what their odds are. If they're a favorite, they come through and they win the game. Uh, they've been doing this for the last two years. It doesn't fucking matter what's sharp or what's not. It doesn't matter if, you know, I'd have them a little bit more of a juicy favorite on the ML against Bayo because they're the O's. It's not like their start has led them to get more respect, I guess, on this line. But they do have a stud ace up on the bump against Bayo today on the roads. And I'm with you. I do think this is a game where you'll see the Red Sox be a little fake sharp, um, you know, down to plus 115 on the ML, plus 110 some places, like on the green book here. Um, probably a little fake sharp. I don't think the Tigers and the Red Sox will both hit to start out the day, right? We saw a lot of people on the Tigers. I think the Red Sox looks like an easy play as, at plus chick. But if you actually look into it and you see what Baltimore does every fucking day, and it's that they win as a favorite over and over again. doesn't matter if that line's fat or if it's short. Back Corbin Burns. It's not like the O's are, you know, 9-0. and They're 5-4 and four, treading water. You could even say the Red Sox have gotten off to a better start sitting at 7-3. and three. So I'm in. Maybe a little bit of uh, law of averages with both these teams. We see Baltimore, you know, rise up after the series, and the Red Sox regress minimally. Orioles on the M out. Yeah, okay. they did also. I mean, they had their, what, three series, little West Coast on the road to uh, begin the season. And now they're they're just coming back, obviously, with a day off. But, like, the Orioles are literally prime home opener coin stealers. They've done this even when they're bad. It's like now, I think they did this with the Red Sox last year, too. I think they spoil the little party there. 
Mm, okay. All right. Uh, what else we got? Let me pull up this damn sharp report here and get back active. We've got Arizona minus one and a half. You can make an argument that this play is square. I don't really give a hoot. All right, Arizona has been struggling mightily of late. They really have not gotten going early on in the season here. But they've got their guy Merrill Kelly on the bump, who pitched pretty fucking solid in his first outing of the season, and I like what I saw. Um, right now, I mean, Arizona, they've lost five games in a row. It has not been pretty uh, for this Diamondbacks team here um, on this road stance. But even before that, they were losing games at home, too. I want to take a stab at Arizona here and pretty much just fade Cal Quantrell, back these Arizona bats to get going and winning this game by more than two runs. Uh, sure, it might be square or simple-minded, but um, Cal Quantrell's in the bump, Javon, and I got to do what I got to do. All right, I'm fading them. Uh, Arizona catching steam, 10 cents on the ML as well, which is a good sign. Um, I think if Cal Quantrell is going to pitch a little better, maybe this total wouldn't be so high. Uh, I'm going to back my guy, Merrill Kelly. And the D-backs to finally get back in the win column here after losing five in a row and winning in big fashion. I think we'll talk about it a little bit later. I got a guy I want to target in Dinger Tuesday in this game. There was a couple guys that were interested in me that we could go over. But I think the offense will finally start flowing for Arizona here on the road against a good matchup in a hitters-friendly park and environment against Cal Quantrill. Yeah, you ain't going to hear any argument from me about fading Cal Quantrill, especially after the Rockies pull went out yesterday. So I'm right with yep. you. Good. Good. Uh, what about Houston and Kansas City? As we get a nuke from the Pirates to start out the second inning, I fucking bet. GG. One to one. Um, Pirates bomb. Who hit it? Didn't even see. Who did it? Olive Oliveras, maybe? I think yep. he was up. That would be Oliveras hitting a nuke. That's got to be his first one of the year, huh? Nah, he had one earlier, I think. Man. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Lock in, Tigers. We still got a lot of innings left. All right, Javon, take us to Kansas City. What are you liking about runs in this contest later? It's one of the weirdest totals I think I've seen, maybe not just today, but like through the entirety of the season so far. Because we have Christian Javier and Cole Reagans on the bump, and we're seeing a eight and a half total that's juiced to the over. With uh, it's not like it's a crazy wind tunnel game that you're seeing in like Great American Ballpark where you have like the best conditions in the world, but. Uh, you're still seeing an eight and a half total. It's pretty juicy to the over. And Christian Javier has been fantastic to start the season. I don't even know if he's given up a run yet. I know he didn't his last start. Um, just double checking to make sure. Yeah, back to back shutout innings or shutout outings against the uh, Yankees and the Blue Jays. Blue Jays are rad shit, but different conversation. Uh, and then Cole Reagans is also coming off of a shutout outing, and he only gave up two runs in his first start before that. Uh, so to see a total eight and a half juice the over, I think is odd. The one thing that I guess does actually make a little bit of sense about it. We faded Christian Javier a lot last year because he was one of those pitchers that was, you know, regression was kind of looming. We saw bad bat to ball metrics, but he was also donkey shit on the road. So like now he's going to the road, uh, a really tough place for a lot of pitchers to pitch in Kansas City against a much better lineup, obviously, this season. Uh, which last season he got turked on there against a much worse team. So now I think he comes in and he struggles. Uh, and the Royals put up some runs, but on the other side too, I think this is a different matchup for Reagans. They've seen the first two starts. So I think he's not going to be completely lights out today. So the reason we're seeing a, a total almost touch nine, the way that these two pitchers have started the season is I think very, very telling. And I'm grabbing it. Oh, this might have been a good find, folks. I kind of like this nasty over between two pitchers who have been dealing as Rowdy rolls over one and gets the first out of the second inning for the Pirates. W's there, getting back on track for Detroit. Javon, I'm with you there, man. This is a nasty over between two pitchers, like you said, who have been dealing so far this season. I mean, Javier hasn't even given up a fucking run uh, this entire season. Give me a break. Yeah. And now this total is, you know, I wouldn't say it's catching steam to the over, but um, really not much movement at all. I'm very curious to see um, what the splits are at on this puppy for this game. I'm pulling them up right now as we speak. I want to see. I'm very curious. Yeah, the over, not great, but not terrible. 60% of that, 66% of handle on that over. I was hoping it'd be a little sharper, but we can work with that. Yeah, but Okay. it's fair. Um, either way, it's a nasty over that uh, is 100% of crabs play that I could get behind with both these pitchers dealing to start the season. Maybe we finally get some runs from both these fucking squads in the same game. And we get a little bit of an over. It looks like that juice is kind of loose on this over here on Green Book. Yeah. What if I what if I also told you uh the guy who's in this game who has not given up a run has a two and a half earned run square up on the prospects board? 
Well, I would tell you why the fuck is that not in your prize pick squares of the day on the sharp report? I don't know if I saw it when we put those in there, but <laughs> you can can put that slot that right in there with Savali. I think they're relatively similar. But yeah, we're, we're at the very least getting Royals runs today. I feel pretty confident about that. So there might be some donkey squares on the prize picks board today is the vibe I'm getting. Yeah. There might be some donks. Okay. Wow. All right. Chat, what do we think about that over in Kansas City and Houston? Are we down? We got two outs in this game. Good play by the Tigers. Good play by Javi Baez. Sure. On Michael A. Taylor. So weird seeing him in a Pirates uni, but rooting for him. Um, can we talk about the Sharks? We will. Don't you worry. All right. We got a couple other plays to go over here first. Uh, let me take you to San Francisco. Can I? Can I take you to San Fran here? The take cash last night on the Nats first fivers. I want to go back to the well here. Um, not with the Nats, uh, but actually with the Giants and their offense in this contest. Josiah Gray's in the bump. It has been bad. Not even like mid. It has been bad news for my guy, Josiah Gray. Uh, so bad that he's got a 14 ERA. He got lit up in his last start and his ERA actually went down. That goes to show you how bad he's been in his first two outings. It has not been good. And then I go over and look at the team total in this game for the Giants. It was a little bit higher than I thought. I know the under is juiced. Uh, but I want to take a stab at the Giants to score more than five runs, at least, in this contest. And it might not, not all need to be against Josiah Gray with how bad our bullpen is. Okay? Um, I just see the Giants scoring plenty of runs. I was looking at those home run odds. I saw a couple of those guys looking a little bit short, like one of the guys we're going to talk about here in a moment when we get to the Dinger Tuesday segment that has no business being as short as he is to hit a nuke. I think Josiah Gray gets lit up in a very hitters-friendly um, you know, environment tonight. The weather's supposed to be actually pretty solid out there in San Fran, if that's the case. We haven't seen Josiah struggle with the long ball. It's just been with his command. I have a feeling they're telling him, fill the zone up today, and I don't think that's going to go too well for my guy Josiah with how his stuff's been looking until he starts pitching backwards and utilizing his pitches that are actually effective, like his off-speeds, and stopping forcing you know, this new cutter or the four-seam that is one of the worst pitchers in all of baseball, uh, one of the worst pitches in all of baseball, until he stops using that in the first or second pitch of the at-bat, nibbling, starting out 1-0, 2-0, and all these counts. Until he changes that game plan, Javon, I want to keep fading Josiah. It's going to get ugly. I think either way, whether he walks, you know, the bases fucking loaded and allows some runs, or if he fills his zone too much today against a starving Giants offense looking to bounce back after last night's disappointing game, either way, we're getting runs from the Giants in this contest. I like their team total over. Yeah, I'm in that. I'm okay. in that. Okay. Sorry, Nats. Sorry, Josiah. I wish that wasn't the case, but when you got a 14 ERA through two games, I mean, what can you expect? Me to back you? Yeah. Not when you're a Nats pitcher. If you're on any other team, maybe, but he might just be that bad. Straight up. <laughs> All right. Take me to the ice, Javon. Looks like you've got a little hockey play for us today. People in chat are going nuts for this Sharks plus one and a half angle. What do you got? Late night Sharks. They're playing the Flames. The Flames... I mean, their season's been done for a while, realistically, but they just had big matchup against the Oilers at home, which was really their last uh, game, at least at home, they're playing against like a competent team. So like that was kind of their last throw all their chips in uh, and actually give a shit game, in my opinion. And now they're starting this little road trip against ratchet teams and it starts with the Sharks. Uh, so now you have, you know, Dustin Wolf and that, who I'm a fan of, but he's talked about it, how... Uh, he doesn't feel very comfortable in that because they're not getting him consistent starts. He's kind of floating between Markstrom starts, and it's exactly what they've been doing like the last couple weeks, and he hasn't been very good outside of like the Jets game. Uh, so now he's going to be going against the Sharks team who's sneakily been playing teams pretty tough, and it's probably because they, uh, they're they trying to not set the record for worst team in the modern era, and you only have a couple more games to do it. So uh, I think this is obviously a spot where like, both teams are dead. I think the Sharks are playing a little harder at this point, and the Flames, you know, after that, Big spot, kind of fell flat, but, I mean, it doesn't really mean anything to them against the Oilers at home. Now they're going on a road trip to close the season pretty much, which, I mean, doesn't mean anything to them, and they're playing cellar-dweller teams. just feels like one of those where you take the stab at the value. I mean, I think they win the game, but I also think they keep it close and wouldn't be shocked to see this one going OT, the way the Sharks are playing a lot of teams close right now, or at least teams that are somewhat near their level. Uh, so I kind of like them today. I think they're going to put up a couple on Dustin and probably win this game. All right, you're taking the plus one and a half. I don't blame you. And when a team is plus 185 on the ML, go ahead and grab that plus one and a half. Don't be scared. All right, you're still yeah. taking a fat dog. I got no qualms with that play. People in chat were saying they were surprised you're not on the Flyers. Any thoughts on Philly before we move? 
The Flyers? Why would I be on the Flyers? I don't know. I mean, they've it's lost the shit. Max is saying in chat. They've lost a shit ton of games in a row. It's kind of what we need, them and the Caps. Mm. And I don't know. It's been like the get right spot for them for two weeks now. And it's mm. not coming because they're done. They're fucking bad. So, I mean, okay. uh, it, me taking them would just be a support of making the race closer against the Penguins. So, mm. there's no reason for me to get involved there. Yep. Looks like Freeze cashed on a Nats uh, ML play last night for a 16 parlay. Let's go Freeze. Holy smokes. Good for him. That's all right, Max. You're still our guy. No stress. Guys, we'll go over all these hockey games um, after we kind of cover what's going on in the playoffs. We're going to do that um, after we go through the Sharp Report here. All right, but let's keep powering through. we got to get you guys the winners for today. All right, we just went over our favorite straight bets. Let's talk about some prize picks. All right. Uh, I like my guy Gabriel Moreno to get more than one and a half total bases today. Um, was trying to find, you know, kind of a sharp play um, in this Arizona game. One of these, you know, lesser known names instead of just taking, um, you know, our guy Corbin or whatever uh, in this contest for Arizona against Cap Quantrell. I ended up going with Moreno. Um, I liked seeing his total bases up there. Um, not as a demon or a goblin, but just up there as one and a half. And if you look at the freaking charts, I mean, he's literally as fucking red as it gets. Like, look at this shit. It's yeah. as red as it gets. Oh. Okay. Gab Moreno hasn't done squats in about a week, week and a half. All right. Well, today against Cal Quantrell, everything changes. All right. He's about to smack a double, maybe even a nuke. Could be a good thing or Tuesday sprinkle. I don't know. I don't care. All I know is that my guy Gabriel Moreno is smacking at least a double, maybe two singles late night tonight against Cal. It's already done. Look at this fucking chart. Give me a break. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, you're not going to hear any argument from me against any or for any anti cow bets so I'm, mm. I'm with you on that i think he he might have been up for a hit run rbi yesterday too and obviously didn't do anything with that the fact that well, he's that makes me like it even more sure yeah i could be wrong but i think i saw him up for at least a little bit i think he might have been one of the ones that got taken down pretty late but he okay. uh he was up at least for the start all right gabriel moreno more than one and a half tbs he's been slumping nothing that a matchup against cal quantrell can't fix all right, he's hitting a double on the gap. It's already done. It looks like we got another nasty square up there. Another guy who is a familiar friend, familiar name from last season, Javon, because you called Kevin Pillar um, home runs like it was your fucking job. Looks like today you're targeting him on prize picks. More than one and a half hits runs RBIs for the White Sox. What do you like about Pillar? Well, first of all, he is 0 for 7 on the season. Hasn't gotten consistent at bats because he's a platoon guy. It's what he is now in his career, but... Uh, he's 0 for 7. You got a one and a half hit and RBI score on the board, and it's not like you're in fucking cores or anything. You're playing the Guardians and a pretty decent pitching staff, and the White Sox have been miserable to this point. But uh, what was the one thing we know about Kevin Pillar? It's that he loves him some lefties, which is the only reason why he's still in the league and still has a job, and he's still on payroll for ratchet teams. You get to see one today, Logan Allen, and a guy who gives up a lot more hard contact than people realize. So, like, I think – uh, I guess we'll talk about it in a second, but I think there's going to be some some loud contact on both sides in this game, and that Kevin Pilar square screaming at me, that's even on the board. Feed me, Kevin. Yeah, let's go Kevin Pilar. Trying to get his action pulled up here for you so we can show it. Looks like he doesn't have the chart up, obviously, for hits, runs, RBIs, but that's okay. Um, I don't think anybody does. Yeah, nobody's got those puppies. Yeah. But we still got Kevin Pilar up here for plenty of – Plenty of shit. It's a lot of, it's a lot of squares for a guy who hasn't gotten stuff. hit all season yet. Holy smokes. All right, Kevin Pillar, get off the schneid today, will you? All right, uh, enough is enough. All right, you're turning into Anthony Rendon here. How about a base knock and a run? All right, how about a home run? How about a nuke? Do something, will you? All right, uh, what else we got? One more prize pick square each. Ooh, this is one that I like a lot. Jorge Soler. Um, I've already seen Jorge Soler just taking a ball 450. Maybe deeper, I don't know, against Josiah Gray tonight uh, for the Giants. Jorge Soler, he's hitting a nuke. All right, we'll talk about that coming up here too. Another guy that I had to leave off the Dinger Tuesday report because I had so many angles that I liked, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see our guy here, Jorge Soler, take one of Josiah Gray's mistakes, especially if he's trying to fill the zone up more and correct some of those mistakes that have cost him runs in these first couple games. If he misses with that four seam over the zone to Jorge Soler, it's already gone. It's already yeah. gone. I mean, that's the guy you want. Okay. 
It's the guy that is the guy. Who wants. That's the guy. It's also who wants. it was kind of a kind of a meme, kind of a joke, but he was like the main blue book boost yesterday because of the solar eclipse. Like it was a a joke for him to hit home yep. run, but it was also the main boost. So you're coming off of that, and you get what uh, zero for three night with a walk where you don't sniff ball, and uh, it's probably the day tonight. Yeah. Somebody's going to do might it. Just be the deck. He's going to okay. do it. Jorge Soler. All right, the day after the Soler eclipse. Had to throw in that dad joke. Come on, chat. Cash the over half. Um, he's taking one yaya today. Josiah Gray hasn't even been struggling with the long ball, but I think if you make some of these adjustments that we're all expecting after two terrible starts and he tries to fill that zone up more, a guy like Soler is going to be the one that reaps the benefits when he takes one of those mistakes. Yaya, 450. Okay. Um, Crabs. Didn't he, didn't he give up two home runs to Nick Martini? He did. He did. Hold on. Let's see. Um, Josiah Gray stats. I think he gave up zero in that next start, though. Yeah, against the Pirates, zero nukes, but three walks, only three strikeouts, seven hits, six earned runs. Couldn't even get out of the fifth. Um, yes, the Pirates. Pirates, so Pirates and home runs game. don't count. Yeah, two nukes in the first game, and yes, they were both from your guy Martini. Can't make Good. it up on Cincy. Unbelievable. Good. And then, yeah, the Pirates, he was just absolutely no shit. I, like I said, he's not been giving up the, uh, the long balls yet. But he also hasn't faced a guy like Soler when he makes a mistake with that four seam. That's one of the worst pitches, literally a bottom five pitch in baseball from last season. Yeah. Where a guy's going to take that ball, you know, 450 over fucking center field. Um, I, if I was Jorge, or if I was Josiah Gray, I would not have gotten much sleep last night having to face him today. All right. Yeah. Uh, we got one more square, I believe, from our guy Javon. Looks like he did get that Savali square up. Love that. What do you like about Aaron Savali giving up Turks today? Well, first of all, I we talked about it yesterday. Felt very not great about the Rays in the series, partially because they never show up on the West Coast road trips when they're in the middle of it, uh, and especially against the Angels. And what did they do yesterday? They got absolutely smoked with Eflin on the mound, who was terrible. Uh, and Savali, like I'm a huge Savali guy, but I feel like this matchup is is not great for him, especially like you look at a lot of his squares too. You can put the uh, Put that up on the screen, Crabs. I know you have the earned run square that's a little weird in this game, but uh, he also like nobody likes Patrick Sandoval, and Patrick Sandoval is a higher fantasy score than Savali does at 27 and a half. Like his strikeouts, I was talking about this with PODP, it's at the same exact line it was against the Texas Rangers, and you're facing the Angels on the road, obviously, so a little different, but a team that on paper strikes out a shit ton more. So, like everything books wise is screaming Savali is going to get lit up in some way. Uh, and that that earned run square is probably the weirdest of the bunch because like I, I still on like I would like a strikeouts it's just a very suspicious line, uh, but that two and a half earned run square on the board is is very interesting and there's a couple guys that I think are gonna knock him up today so I think the Angels are probably en route to a second straight win. All right, yeah, not a great not a great sign for your race today. Well, let's just not today. Honest here. Not today. not a great sign at all, at all. We got some sub banks coming in hot. We got JT Harden 15. Appreciate all the content, boys. Resubbing for 18 months. Let's go, JT. Sure you can. Sure you can. We got Pax Picks coming in hot. Resubbing as well for eight months. Can't forget about Clam Mucker 3000 either. All right, can't go. let that get swept under the rug. 23 months sub bang. Let's make it 24. Why not, Clam Mucker? Let's make it two years. All right, why not us? Crazy, crazy comment. <laughs> Talk to me when you get to 24 months, Clam Mucker. All right, I'll, I'll <laughs> shake your hand then. All right, my guy. W's. Let's keep moving and grooving here. All right. I think that is the rest of the shark reports. We'll give you guys one more sneak peek at this puppy. I will post it. All right. Don't you worry. Javi Baez making a great play from his knees. What a throw against Triolo. Holy smokes. If you guys are watching this Tigers game, you just saw Javi Baez do something good for the first time in a while. Awesome. What a play. Let's go, Javi. W Help Javi. out that Detroit ML play, will you? Come on. Um, chat, we will post this on Book of BTL Twitter. All right, you don't have to write these puppies down, but um, feel free to take a mental screenshot or lock in some of these plays that do start up soon. The Orioles get going here um, in less than an hour. So if you want to lock in Baltimore and ride with Javon for his early play today, the O's on the ML starts up here not too far away. All right, yeah. guys. Awesome. W Sharp reports. All right, love that. Um, Javon, what else do we have to go over today? Dinger Tuesday. Might as well hop Tuesday. right into it. Hop right Might in. Well hop right into it. All right. Guys, we've got some plays that we're loving for today. All right. Dinger Tuesday. Um, look, man, Francisco Lindor up there, plus 380, the first thing you guys see. 
probably not ideal. You probably said or, or made some sort of comment uh, saying Lindor hit a nuke. Come on. Well, he did hit one a couple games ago. Maybe he's starting to get going here, and I'm expecting more runs once again in this Mets game down there in Atlanta in this series with that total up to 9.5. Uh, I think Lindor at plus 380 being shorter odds than everyone else in the Mets was hilarious to me. Maybe odds makers are expecting Lindor a little bit of a bounce back here. I don't know. But seeing his odds that short compared to the rest of the guys there, I know nobody's really been hitting well for the Mets, but come on now. Lindor, people are talking about giving him the Trey Turner treatment with how bad he's been playing for the Mets so far this season. So uh, this is an odds play for me. I wish I could have gotten my guy Pete because I need some RBIs like I need air. But um, Lindor hitting a nuke, I've already seen it, my man. I've already seen it. So <laughs> plus 380 as we get a Pirates double to start out the inning. Fuck. GG. Thoughts on Lindor? Going yard today. Yeah, I don't mind Lindor. Can't say I'm I'm the biggest Lindor sharp or Met sharp because I've generally tried to stay away from their games and their their prize pick squares and everything involved with them until the offense gets a little better. But you know, you had Nemo yesterday. Maybe Lindor's your guy today. Come on, come on, Lindor. Do your fucking job tonight, brother. Please, for the first time this season. Can you? Can you do your job, please? Javon, Please. I can't get over it, man. Plus 380 here. I mean, he's shorter than guys like Marcel Azuna as the Pirates score another run. That was it's too easy. Low. Fuck. Isn't that low for our guy Lindor plus 380 here? Just a tad. Matt Olson might be getting on the board today, too. He's he's touched the 200s. Oh, no. Yeah. GG. Oh, no. But yeah, like Pete Alonzo, plus 400, I bet. He's the guy who hits nukes for this team, although he hasn't been doing it. Francisco Lindor off to a legacy or like an all-time terrible start to the season at plus 380, I fucking bet. Come on, Francisco. Get going. Get that offense moving and grooving. We need to get the Mets activated. All right? Yeah. Javon, what else you got? Rumor has it you're going with Logan Ohapi. Trent might like this one for your first Yeah, game. and to be honest, I was in trench warfare trying to pick an angel because my... My gut tells me squaring up with one of the two guys, whether it's Trout or you know Taylor Ward, who's for some reason seeing the ball really well right now, is probably the answer. But uh, my gut's also telling me that Logan Ohapi, I just felt that the second I looked at the board and I looked at the home run odds up against Savali today, which when Savali does get hit up, he gives up quite a few Turks. It's like he's the same as Eflin, where like home runs are going to be a big part of his start, you know, good start or bad start. Uh, Logan O'Hoppy is the guy who I think has a pretty good approach against him on the plate. Like to righties, you're going to see a lot of off speed uh, and a lot of that big looping curveball, which kind of worries me for Taylor Ward. Definitely doesn't for Trout, but for O'Hoppy, I think that's a pretty good approach for him to take. So I wouldn't be shocked if he runs into one. Uh, but he's he's the guy who I just I just saw already hitting a nuke in that game, and I can't get my finger away from that button. Hmm. Well, I'm down. That's a weird one that I could get behind. Is there a prize pick square we can back for our guy, Mr. Ohapi, today? I think he has demons. I don't think he has a regular square. The one that, okay. like, is an actual square that I was also looking at is Mickey Moniak, and the only reason I didn't go to it is because he had three hits, I think, yesterday, or three bases mm -hmm. at the very least, and he's up for half a base today. Scared me a little bit, but, again, there's, like, there's so many options for the Angels in that game that I, I had a hard time choosing one. Looks like Hovey chiming in on Lindor. He's a Mets fan. He's dialed, saying he's been at this short of odds pretty much his whole fucking time. Maybe it's not as sharp as I think. Great. Thanks, Hovey. Appreciate that. Um, do you recommend benching Savali today? <clears throat> in fantasy, excuse me, Javon. Would you park his ass on your bench? I probably yeah. would. I don't know if I would just because of the strikeout potential that he has. Like, I can't really bench Savali on any start. See, he, he could go out there and give up five, but also strike out nine. That's the only mm. thing. Okay. But, That's I mean, it, it's you can tell that I, I don't love him today. Yeah. So take it with a grain of salt. All right. Yep. Anthony Rendon plus 600. That makes sense. He should be plus 6,000 every day. You think that guy's lifting a ball out of the yard? Yeah. I do think if, there, if there's a number in this game that stands out, it's definitely Mickey Moniak, which, I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to have to fuck around and play him too. Okay. Yep. But, it sounded like so it. No. It almost seems like you wish you just put that one up here from the start. Kind of dead. Kind of dead. Okay. Sano is also the favorite here. That's your guy. And Miguel Sano is. Well, he can he can Ligma. Yeah. I'm not taking Miguel Sano. <laughs> He's already cost me enough coins this season. I am done. My patience for backing Miguel Sano and watching his at bats has already run thin. And it was one well, game. Okay. You heard it here first, chat. Lock in that. Chat, lock it in. Hurry up, go. 
Lock it in. You're going to need to. Plus 280 for Miguel Sano tonight. What, does he already hit it? It's already yeah, been recorded in the stats for tonight's game? What the fuck? He might have. All right. He might be hitting one. Yeah. Plus 280? Give me a break. That's insane. All right. Yeah. What else we got? Let's keep moving to Graven here. Uh, Eugenio Suarez. Sure. I like this black. Let me see if I can find it on the odds and make sure we haven't gotten any changes here. Um, I'm a big fan of Eugenio Suarez today based off of the odds as well. Um, and we're going to talk about it here in one moment as soon as I pull up the fucking game. Uh, where's my guy Eugenio at? Where is he at? Um, Gotta make sure you go to the D-backs grabs. Yeah, I know. Hold on. No Mariners. That's okay. I'll just pull up his square because he's got a prize picks one. Um, Eugenio Suarez. All right, obviously he hasn't hit a lot of nukes recently. That's okay. We still love him. His odds. Gosh, they were short, man. Gosh, they were short. Um, and I'm liking it. And I think he might do something today for his new squad in Arizona. All right. I know I already talked about an Arizona play earlier today. Um, going over that Gabriel Moreno total bases. I do like that on prize picks, but I got caught up. I could not stop looking at this fucking home run list for this Arizona game and seeing our guy Suarez getting this much respect. Immediately, I put him down the sheet. It had to be done. Didn't have a fucking choice in this contest. Um, if you can see right here, my guy plus 320. I fucking bet. Um, one of the shortest odds, if not the shortest odds in this game, right behind Christian Walker, who I didn't want to back. Um, he was at the top of the prize picks board as well, but he's been doing some stuff recently, at least minimally. Seeing our guy, Eugenio Suarez, behind Jack Peterson, who's also very short today, but we know he's a fucking new kidder. Uh, that's his job. Seeing him as the third shortest odds in this game, I was interested. It's not like he's been doing squat recently for this team. And I like his matchup, obviously, um, going against a guy like Cal Contral. So keeping it simple, I think he makes some serious mistakes today. And I really want to back my guy, Eugenio Suarez, going against one of the worst, if not the worst, pitcher in Major League Baseball. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I think I, I kind of like Jock. I like the favorite in that game. You like Might Jock plus 290? Yeah. The thing that, like... Uh, I want I want a lefty against Cal because the thing he's been doing, or at least so far this season, is he's been spamming splitters. Mm. So like he's gonna hang one to lefties, and because uh, that's kind of how you have to pitch, of course, for him to not get absolutely turked on in theory. Uh, but he's he's probably gonna hang with the jock, so I might go favorite. I might go favorite in that game. I mean that's some serious respect for a guy uh, plus two ninety. Sheesh. All right, somebody's hitting a gag against Cal Quantrell in, um, out there in course tonight. Somebody's doing it. Yeah. You just got to click the right one. All right. What else we got for today? We've got Kevin Pilar, who we've already talked about plenty. You were backing him on prize picks. You think he might hit a gag today at that number plus 630? Why not, Sprinkle? Yeah, sure. why not? It's, sure. It feels like it feels like with Kevin Pilar, it's, it's a lot of all or nothing whenever I take him. So add him to the home run list. Kind of already given my... My cell job, and I'm taking him for Dinger Tuesday. I have a rare, did not think I'd ever be saying that I'm going Dinger Tuesday, double up in the same game, and it's White Sox Guardians, but I am. And Kevin Pilar is, is on the list today. So see a, a legacy new from him. All right, Kevin Pilar. Well, I'm seeing him down to plus 450. If you peep this on the green book, Javon, maybe it's just different books. I don't know. I don't care, but he's way shorter. Way shorter. Hmm. Interesting. That's very interesting. That makes me like it even more. Why not? Yeah. Right. Kevin Pilar, we've talked about him enough. Take him on prize picks. Sprinkle on him to hit a nuke tonight. Why not? It's Dinger Tuesday. All right, have some fun. Of course. Have some fun. All right, this is where I might lose you guys. <clears throat> Mike Yastrzemski. All right, I talked about this game and targeting a Dinger Tuesday player in this contest. Um, why not our guy Mike Yastrzemski, who's only hit one nuke earlier this season, hasn't hit a nuke this month? How about him getting some serious line respect? In this contest, Javon, um, you know, he's not plus 300 like some of these other guys are in other games. But if you take a peep at what the odds are, and by the way, Abram's probably not going to play once again today. Nobody's talking about it. Nobody cares. But That's he much. might be a little more banged up than people thought. So no boy now. But this Nats offense, uh, I feel like is producing better with him out of the lineup right this second anyway. So I don't really give a hoot. Obviously, Solaire plus 380 here getting some respect. I do think he hits a nuke, and I wouldn't mind taking a stab at him against Josiah. Would not be your worst bet. But how about Yaz? Down to plus five hundo? I wouldn't mind taking a stab at him to hit one out. He's only got one this year. I thought his odds would be close to double this. 
Interesting. I am expecting Josiah to give up some Turks today. He gave up zero in that last outing. He only gave up two in his first start. I think he becomes the Josiah from last season where um, maybe he starts working in some of his better pitches, but he's still going to make mistakes with his bad fastball. And I think guys um, like Yastrzemski and guys like Soler are going to take advantage. Plain and simple. This one's going to get ugly, man. You could take your pick in this contest with who's hitting a gag. There's probably going to be multiple. Yeah, you would think. You'd probably going to be multiple. Yep. Pretty in on that. Pretty in on taking a couple guys in that game. Also, don't let Lane Thomas get hot. It might be too late. I'm he is kind of getting hot. People are sleeping. going to say it. Yep. It might be too late. Maybe he hits a gag again tonight. He hit one last night. Yeah. He gets another be. lefty today. Mm. Hmm. I don't think I'm good on that. <laughs> I'm good on back in the Nats today, offensively. All right. Fair. I got no desire to take any of these guys. No, thank you. Javon, wrap it up. Tell me why Bo Naylor is hitting a nuke tonight at plus 400. That's a crazy pick. It's a crazy pick. And uh, this one honestly spawned from prize picks because I was looking for something in this game uh, where you could get some power uh, from the Guardian side of things. And obviously there's not many options other than the Naylor brothers or the occasional you know, J-Ram appearance and J-Ram spawned last night with a nuke. Uh, but have you looked at the run squares for this game, Krabs? They're pretty weird. Because there's a run square for a certain guy named Bo Naylor who is 0 for his last 11 with eight strikeouts in those ABs, which is particularly interesting. Um, so, I mean, those those have been, like, if we're talking any weird squares on the prospects board, those run squares have been the ones that have been, you know, really printing. Like, I guess Bo Naylor is not Jazz Chisholm, but, like, Jazz Chisholm on Sunday had one that I thought was pretty weird against Kyle Gibson and what do you know, through a nuke as soon as he stepped on the field, first pitch he saw. Now we have Soroka on the mound and a run square for the seven hole. At least that's where, you know, Bo Naylor has been hitting. Uh, yeah. And I want something off of Soroka because he supplies a lot of power. I think he's given up a home run in both of his starts. Uh, and he really struggles against any lefties that are kind of two outcome strikeout K guys. So like Bo Naylor, who I think not only is the run square up there, his price is pretty short. The matchup's pretty good. I'm taking him. That's the one that, I guess baseball wise too makes a little more sense than you know Kevin Pillar. Kevin Pillar is crazy, but Bo Naylor, not too far behind. Double in that game, two beasts. You know, Javon, in honor of the college basketball season coming to a close, I feel like we might owe the people a couple A team and B team entries here today. It's been a couple, right? Uh, we've been very, very conservative with these prize picks entries because we don't want to force. It got ugly there towards the end of the college basketball season, forcing. Um, we might know the people in MLB, A team and B team today, maybe even mixing in some NBA or NHL or whatever, but there's some serious MLB squares that we've talked about on this show today, about three or four that I want to lock in already. Our work is almost done. I mean, there's some fucking Megalodon squares we got to take on MLB today for prize Yeah, we can, we can lock Don't in. Don't nail a run is one of them. Yep. Yeah. That's one of them. 100%. 100%. Right? Crabs, I mean, AJ Puck getting roughed up tonight in the Bronx. Yeah, I don't really know what to do with our guy, AJ Puck. Because he's been getting roughed up and pitching like no shit. But he's only at, what, two and a half earned runs against the Yankees, juiced to the under today? I thought that was a little bit weird. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. His brother's up for one and a half and two and a half hits runs RBIs, neither a demon or goblin. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Any association plays you guys like? Massive slates. We can go to that towards the end here, Stony Picks. All right, we wanted to go over these Dinger Tuesday plays for you. Let me flash these puppies one more time. All right, I'll post this graphic later on BTL Twitter. But if you guys want to lock in a couple sprinkles, guys, remember, we're throwing lunch money on these puppies. All right, you're throwing a couple bucks uh, that you got in your pocket left over from the weekends on these Dinger Tuesday squares. If you want to nuke, you go straight bets or you go prize picks entries. All right, these are just fun bets for Tuesdays to get the action flowing. All right? Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Do we want to go over the NHL playoff breakdown here, Javon? I feel like we owe it to the people. What yeah, we can do that. A little race in the East. Yeah, dude, it's it's crazy, honestly. Let me see if I can get this pulled up and screen share yeah. for the people. I should be able to. So we got a, I mean, a pretty we've got, fat... what, like seven teams technically still fighting for a playoff spot in the East, right? Yeah, technically. It's realistically probably around five because I don't think the Devils or Sabres are really in it at this point. But, yeah, I mean, we're looking at 
crazy uh, crazy Penguins come back to them being in the race. Huge point last night, the fact they took the Leafs to overtime at the very least. Would have loved if they could have got two, but they didn't. Um, but it's going to be an actual crazy race. And we have a lot of games tonight, or a couple games tonight, with uh, pretty big impacts. Your Caps play the Red Wings tonight, which is – whoa. Red Wings currently hold that second wild card spot, and the Caps are a point behind them. So, I mean, that is going to be a massive game. Um, Pens obviously was played last night. The Leafs picked up a point, so there's there's an important one tonight. Like, I guess we can talk about the game, which is not important in itself. But the Leafs winning yesterday kind of put the race with the Lightning out of reach. So the Lightning are pretty much locked in that first wild card spot now officially. Um, so now they play the Blue Jackets today, who I think that's mm-hmm. a – it's a punt game between that game and they play the Sens like in two days, maybe on Thursday. Uh, so I think how I'm going to go about it, I'm just going to take the Blue Jackets on the ML and the Sens on the ML. I think they lose one of those games. But, yeah, the, the wild card race is crazy right now. And the Pens, it's been, it's been crazy following them because they were dead and now they're back and they have a ridiculously tough schedule the rest of the way. Now – you know, most of the teams in the race around them have a game in hand. So we'll see how it all plays out. But tough games all around. The Rangers, we also got the New York, New York Bowl tonight. And the Islanders need a win. And they're playing the uh the Rangers at home. So it's gonna be crazy. Huh. A lot of crazy shit going on right now in hockey. All right, down the stretch. I think each team only has either four or five games left on the season. It's gonna be sweaty. I don't like how my caps are playing right now. Not a hot take. They've looked like rat meat the last like week and a half, two weeks. It seems like their magic is kind of fading away. I hope they can make some moves and climb their way back up here, but um, not looking likely. They're behind the Penguins now at this point, your squad that you took to make the playoffs. So obviously, you know, we've got teams up here that have already clinched. We've got two teams in the Metro that have clinched. There's one spot, this third seed, which is technically still out there for grabs in the Metro, Javon. Um, You know, the Islanders have not officially clinched that one yet at 85 points. And there's still some teams here who are right behind them who could end up making some moves and snagging that. If you had to make a guess or prediction as of who's making the playoffs with four or five games left, how are you solidifying this last Metro spot and these wild cards? I mean, the last Metro spot, I think think it's going to stay relatively like it's played out. Um, It's like the Isles, not that I think, I hope they don't get a win today, but uh, after today, their schedule gets a little easier you know they have games against the uh the habs and the devils looming who i guess the devils is second to last game i think they're going to be dead by that point but they do have two against the rangers hoping that they drop one if not both of those and then uh, the penguins play them last game of the season which that could be very well to decide the metro spot but uh, i still really think the penguins sneak in maybe a little biased because like i have the ticket in my pocket but the things that have happened from the time like near the trade deadline where they were dead to now they've needed every single thing to go right and so far it has like the caps and the flyers are on like historic streaks where they have lost however many games in a row and they've looked god fucking awful and we kind of yeah saw this coming like there are two teams that i think everybody knew was kind of fraudulent and now we're starting to see it obviously they're still in the race it's not like they're dead um but crazy losing streaks against a lot of really bad teams and the pens have you know they've not scored on the power play because their power play is horrendous and it's one of the worst in the league, if not the worst in the league. And uh, they're still finding every way to win games. They're just not making mistakes in these games, even like in a loss against the Leafs. Great. They got a point out of it. They played really good for a majority of that game outside of the power play, which has been the the story all season. So like everything they've had needed to go right. It's gone right to this point. There's a couple games left. We'll see if it lasts, but it just kind of feels, feels like it's in the air that Sidney Crosby is going to lead this team to the playoffs. Yeah, that's the vibes, 100% right now. We'll see if they can close it. Javon, are you utilizing any of that that you just talked about into any of these games for today? Um, Are you playing any of these playoff angles on today's NHL slate? Um, What are your thoughts? Yeah, a little bit. Um, I talked about the Lightning. The Lightning, this is they're coming back home. uh, They're a little injured, and that's one of the reasons why I was kind of excited over the weekend for them to play the Penguins, which the Penguins – uh, probably made me lose a year off my life watching that game because they're up 4-1, immediately choked it, and then they scored late to win it. But yeah. Lightning are pretty banged up. Like John Cooper, Lightning coach, has come out and said multiple times, like they're not hiding it. They're uh, managing injuries of guys very, very carefully, especially you know with the season winding down. And now 
they're officially kind of locked into the wild card spots. So they have nothing to play for, and they're coming back home after a playoff atmosphere, you know, type game in Pittsburgh. Uh, so, like these two games against the Blue Jackets and Sens, I think they're sleepwalking through. Which for the Lightning is is probably not losing both games, obviously, because these teams are absolutely awful. But mm. uh, like the Blue Jackets tonight, they have Jet Graves in that, who's been kind of good for them. And then who knows what the Sens are going to do after. Uh, probably getting thrashed by the Panthers, but just one of those games, I think they lose. So I think you take your shot just straight up on the ML with both of those teams. And especially we're probably going to see a couple, couple guys out for them and Vassie's probably not going to play. Uh, mm-hmm. I would think he gets the sense. So we'll see what happens there. Um, okay. Caps red caps, red wings tonight. You, uh, yeah. you you remember what we tried to do with that game last time they played. Um, did we take the caps? Took the under. And I mean, truthfully, that that over had absolutely no business hitting. But uh, I'm doing it again. Oh God! Okay. Doing it again tonight. Okay. That game. You're taking this was... under in Detroit and Washington. What do you like about it? Yeah, I mean, another. It was, it was playoff atmosphere back then, which is why it started so slow in the first place. And then you got a random fluke flurry of goals. I don't think you get that tonight. And it's uh pretty big because, like, the Caps at this point, they're kind of towards the end of what their slide should be. So, like, they've lost however many games in the row. They've been god-awful. Now you're playing on the road in Detroit. This is perfect. Caps, you know, maybe strike first and then sit back, or they just try to manage this game and play it out super slow because that's the only way that they are going to survive at this point, and they especially would love to get it to OT. So I think this is – obviously you don't want a 3-3 OT, but – I love a a slow game here, and I'm going back to it. The first one had absolutely zero business. first one that we took, at least, had zero business going over. I think all of them that they've played this season have soared over. This is such an important game that I think it's it's balls to the wall defensively for both these teams. All right. Well, the Caps in defense, it's like peanut butter and jelly, right? Typically, it's when they're playing in Capital One Arena, but we know that's how this team wins, so hopefully they lean into that. Maybe these teams will not be too adamant to put some pucks in nets. You know, maybe even a tie going into OT. Grabbing a point is all they really want. So I like it, right? Anytime the Caps are in a playoff type atmosphere, that game's probably going to go under, right? That's their middle name is under. Okay. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I do remember that fucking game we took where I think it was, what, 3 3 going into OT when they scored a goal late or some shits. Ended up costing us that under. Yep. Yeah. Cake. cake. So much cake. All right. Somebody say Matt Warner. Remy, though, I did not. I did not say Matt Warner. Um, anybody else say his name? Matt Warner. Tigers up against uh, two. Oh my God. Matt Warner up against Glass now today. I mean, Glass now makes a mistake. Matt Warner's the guy that's fucking take advantage of it, right? Yeah. Matt Warner hits there's, there's gonna be a Turk or two off of Glass now. You just gotta hope that's the one. Yeah. Perez might be the best pitcher of all time, folks. Brock, uh, yes, love that. Start spreading that agenda around. Will you? Spread the he word. might be the GOAT. Spread the he word. Might be the GOAT. People are starting to talk. People are starting to talk. Perez Masterclass, sure. Okay. Yes. <sighs> yeah, why was everyone on first five? I kind of wanted to back, you know, Tigers full game with that bullpen. They're pretty solid. And fading the world is chatting yeah. Bednar and Co. So I've still got some time left, but it's not looking too good. The Tigers offensively look like they're still in REM. Okay, they're still sound asleep. Hate that. Um, Javi Baez is up, though. You know he ain't doing shit. He's bad. A buck 61. He's got no nukes this year. He's useless. He's useless. Ground ball to shortstop and unbelievable Derek Jeter type play. He's out. Legacies. Yeah, guys, Martin Perez. He might be that guy. Start getting your Cy Young tickets in now. Okay, he might be that guy. We've been doing this same song and dance for the last fucking two years, Javon, with Martin Perez. When are we going to stop? When are we just going to say enough is enough and just sit back and not fade this month? We got to wait till this game goes final grabs. Well, I'm doing everything I can. I know. Make sure that whatever's going on right now changes. Okay? <laughs> I'm pulling out all the tricks. Oh, every single one of them. Straight up. Holy smokes. Spawned out two with two outs. Nice. I mean, I've never seen Williams make a play like that at short for the Pirates. Half of you guys don't even know who that is. <laughs> the dude just turned into Derek Jeter for a second. Unbelievable. W-Lika. Fuck. Jake Rogers, change the narrative. Change it. Yeah, Martin Perez, we might be seeing him this whole game, folks. Unbelievable. <laughs> He's painting, dude. I can't even I can't even deny it. He's painting. Might be locked. 
Might be locked. Press those three balls. It's one and two. Those are good pitches, man. I don't know. They might be a little on the edge, but I'd give those to him. Let's see. One, two count here against Jake Rogers. Before we move, let's go ahead and see the strikeout through real quick. All right. Come on, Jake Myers. Do something. Foul ball. Perez is better than Cal Quantrell. Well, yeah, Boston Sports Dork, 100%. I think that anybody's better than Cal. That we know. All right. Um, they're balls and MLB the show. I bet. I bet. All right, guys. Let's keep moving and grooving here. We've got about 15, 20 minutes. A Rogers bomb would make Jack go wild. Yeah, we're not going to get it, though, chat. We're not going to get it as Perez is taking too long on the bump and getting the free ball for the kit. That could be huge. Could be the could difference. Be huge. Um, all right. We went over the Sharp Report chat. We did Dinger Tuesday. We covered the NHL playoff breakdown and what's going on and how Javon's attacking some of these games for today. Where do we want to go now? Do we want to do MLB slates, the rest of it? Do you want to pivot and talk about the NBA? It's been a couple of days. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, not incredibly tapped on the NBA today. I'm not in a lot of days. So unless you, have, some MLBs. unless you have some whales, let's go back to the diamond. Let's talk some MLBs. And like I said earlier, Chad, if you guys join late, that's okay. We are going to get our guy, Kenny, who is a golf sharp and a half. Okay, this guy, all he does is bet golf and smack bets. We're going to get him on tomorrow to talk some Masters futures. Okay, guys, because we all need some Masters bets. We're going to be doing a 24-hour stream this weekend, sweating out golf. We're going to need some futures locked in. Okay, uh, we'll have our guy Kenny on tomorrow. Still waiting to see when he's going to come on, but... That could be the difference. We're going to need some golf plays because you and me have no fucking clue what to take yeah. for that. And if I see one more Brooks Kepka slip on my feet, I might just have to bet the field at this point. Lay it. Honestly. Bucks ML is a crab's play and a third. I mean, if you're saying something like that, I got to give it a peep. At yeah, least. we might have to check out the Bucks. At least. All right. Bucks are plus two and a half against the Celtics. Who's out for the Bucks in this game, though? There's got to be somebody out. Or the my, Celtics. My PN. What's your POD? Bucks or Celtics? Bucks. Bucks. Huh. Chat saying that's a crab's play. Let's see who's out. Yeah, why is that a crab's Bucks? play? Because I mean, the Bucks just lost four straight games as double digit fucking underdogs or favorites. Why on earth would they be plus two against Boston? You know, you know what the problem is? Well, first of all, that. You know what the problem is? You know why the Bucks are losing these games? Because you know who they play most most likely if they end up sitting exactly where they are in the standings? The Heat. I will not be taking the Bucks to win any games the rest of the season because I think they're losing on purpose. They don't want to see the Heat. And obviously the, the plan is involved in that. But right now the 7-8 is Sixers, Heat. Winner of that game plays the Bucks in the two spot. They don't want the two spot. I'm fully did convinced. You say, did you just say that the Bucks are losing these games on purpose? So they, they do not want. Teams? They do not want any part of the Heat. I promise you. Pirates lead all single cake. They Chad, want. What do we think about that theory? They want the three spot because the three spot they play Indiana. They play the Pacers, who obviously don't own them. First of all, if the Heat are a part of it, but right. like they don't want to see. They're either going to see the Heat or God forbid the Sixers win. They're going to see a Sixers who now have him beat healthy and shouldn't be a seven seed. So, like, that's that's not the spot they want to be in. They're like, what, they're one game? The Magic and the Knicks are both one game behind them in the three or four spot. I can guarantee you the Bucks would so much rather be there, and that's the reason why they're losing, you know, all of these games mysteriously to these massive dogs. Huh. So, with that being said, Javon, you want no business back in the Bucks tonight. I? I don't want any business backing them the rest of the season. Okay. Okay. Shoot. That's fair. We'll see how it plays out. That is one heck of a theory. I mean, you know I can get in on some conspiracy theories for sports betting especially. Um, sign me up, Javon. I mean, it's not even like it a – purpose so they don't have to play the team that owns them. It makes sense. It's not even like a, a conspiracy theory because, I mean, like teams have, teams have come out and kind of said that indirectly that they don't want to see teams a lot. And Yeah. Look, I mean, you have, what, two games after this? They have two games against the Magic, which very well could decide who gets that spot. 
I'm going to go out on a limb and say they would much rather the Magic take that spot, so they're not playing one of the two teams, hopefully. Yep. Okay. That's wild. Keep me away from them today, although that line was definitely kind of weird. There's some injury stuff going on as well in this contest. We don't know if Porzingis is going to play. We don't know if Giannis is going to play. Chris Middleton, um, Al Horford is game time as well for the Celtics. I mean, like everybody's game time for the Bucks in this contest. Who knows if that even matters or not, but yeah, um, I mean, the Celtics definitely questionable. The Celtics are also what, like 15 games, 16 games above the Bucks. Yeah, so you're saying so like, what well, do they have to even play for? Yeah, I mean, I guess that works if you want to take the Bucks, I guess. But like, it's a weird. That's a game that I just want absolutely zero part of for all yep. of those reasons. Okay. All right. Well, I love that. I was about to be all in uh, until you said that, though, and gave that great breakdown. They could be losing games on purpose so they don't have to face your heat. I would not be surprised. Yeah. Okay, because we I mean, know how that's going to go. They Jimmy don't want Butler that. In the heat. doesn't matter how they did it the fucking regular season. Once that playoff season starts up, everybody's 0-0. Zero, zero. And I like the Heat's chances every fucking year if they got Jimmy Butler on that squad. Yeah, I mean, they're, Come on. they're literally one game. I mean, they're one game away from a 3-6 Pacers matchup, but they're also one game away from – a four or five, you know, matchup with the Cavs, which I am sure they would so much rather take than either of those two teams, especially the Heat. Yep. Okay. All right. Tatum already choked in the playoffs for the eighth time. That would be crazy. That would be crazy if the Celtics choke it this year. That'd be wild because they have been just coasting through the NBA regular season. Holy smokes. Um, guys, my last leg in the season long go well is Ann Edwards points. I need to know if I should hedge with his under every game or not. I mean, what do the T Wolves have to play for right now? I'm right there with them too. You're with them too? <laughs> okay. So let's talk about this first set. The T Wolves, T Wolves have plenty to play for. They're in a two way tie for the one seed right now. And OKC yep. is a game back of, of both those teams. So plenty to play for. Okay. Um, you would like to think, you know, that they win tonight because they're playing the Wizards as 20 point favorites, pretty much. Probably not a game you want to take as less than points. Right? <laughs> yeah. But I mean, on paper, you know what the Wizards like to give up. They like to give up a lot of pain points. Yeah. So I would not be shocked if he splooges for a little bit, but so does, you know, all the big men, maybe a little Nas Reed appearance too. He starts splooging again. What's his average right now? Is it 26.4? think so. Did you guys see that catch in the Tigers game? Holy shit. I need to tap that. Can we see that? Home run. Can we see that? I have it up on my iPad, not on the PC. Yeah, Trent, you're going to I got you. You might have to drop ship. Dude. Yeah, I Trent, mean, you just your mic is run. also that was nuts. loud as mom. I thought it was your mic, bro. You talking to Trent or me? Trent. Okay. Yeah, a little loud. That's okay, though. Um, holy smokes, chat. Anybody watching this Tigers game see that? That was crazy. Holy shit. Oh my god, um, Riley Green, stop. Please. Trent's holding that card. Holding that card to his chest right now. That could be stock up for that jersey card. Yep. People are starting to talk. Check the eBay prices. Come on, chat. Can we get some fucking runs from the Tigers, please? Can we? Can we? Javon, any games real quick? We'll spend a couple minutes on this, and then we'll spend plenty of time on the squad right here. But before we move, are there any other MLB games that we didn't cover today that you wanted to talk about real quick? Oh, here goes Cash. Season. Yes, this is nuts. Hit hard to left to the wall, and it is all oh, caught by Riley Green. Yep. That's the one time I'm okay with you doing that, Trent. Sure. Yes. That keeps us in this one. We're right. seeing here today. He keeps Got us in this back one. to a spot, set his feet. Oh, man, what a catch. Look at this shit. Great timing on his leap. I mean, yeah, that wall, that outfield wall is about as tall as Mima, but still a crazy play. He's sprinting backwards against the wall. Holy smokes. Yeah, we got to start thinking of some other things than throating the mic. Just something else. Anything else. <laughs> oh, man. I'll pay four units to hedge, 40 units profits. Okay, Devin. Yeah, I don't know if I'd be fading his points today against the Wizards, even if, you know, they give up points on the interior. We'll probably see another fucking, you know, legacy dunk on Sports Center top 10 plays coming up here. Can I get a Jack, Jack W Wizards. Mikes or L Mike? There you go. There you go. Back. Might, be, might be a touch quiet now. 
Not gonna yeah. lie. It's all right. It's better. It's better. It's better. Good. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I would start. I don't know with Anthony Edwards because, like, the Wizards. It scares me today because of the blowout and because they're baby food in the paint. But they also have the Nuggets, which I love to take point guards against the Nuggets because everybody else super tough matchup in that game could very well decide the one seed after this. And they play the Ratchet Hawks, who play no defense. And they play the Suns, who also, I mean, weird team defensively, but he could splooge against them last game of the season. So, I don't know. I feel I feel pretty decent about Ann Edwards, if I was you. Yeah, I think you let that puppy ride. Yeah. I do. They got plenty to play for still. All right. 3-1 counts to Matt Beerling, a legend. All right, let's see if he can get on base for the fucking Tigers here, please. I'm assuming he did not, if ball of 22 is bitching. Javon, stop me if you want to go over any of these MLB games real quick. And then we're going to pivot to the squad rods. Anything you love? Um, I mean, I would not mind fading Joe Ross off of his legacy outing, I'll tell you that much. Especially because, yeah. um, I mean, I hate taking the Reds against the Brewers. I don't, I don't even know if I am going to, you know, in this little early-ish game. But, I mean, Joe Ross should have given up 17 runs in that game. He's just lucky he's facing the Musha Twins. Uh, and the Reds, Reds are kind of patient, sneakily. And if you have Ellie in that lineup a little juiced up and actually not scared to swing the bat, um, especially if you let him get on base with a walk, you know he's swiping two bags immediately. It's a good spot for them. So, like, I mm. with Frankie, Frankie Montas backing him when he's been so great to start the season is, is kind of scary. But at the very least, I think the Reds score. Javon, I'm not going to lie to you, man. I'm completely locked in to Mark Canna around in the base. Yeah, Mark Canna double. Okay. Could be the difference. Nothing against you. W plot. I'm sure whatever that was was beautiful. Okay. But I'm watching my guy Mark Canna just absolutely booking it around first. Like this is the last of battle I'll ever have in his life. That's, That's just, fucking heart. It's nothing but heart, dude. That's, That's all we ask heart, for. Trent. Let's That's go. literally all we ask for in this economy. Come it's on. heart. Can we bring him home, chat, please? Can we bring him home? And can we bring home another squad ride W? Stockholders. Is Riley up? This is a big at bat oh, for the stockholders. This is a massive AB for the card. All right, let's sweat this at bat. Fuck it. Yeah, Come we on. got to. We have no choice. Come on, Riley. Come on, Riley. What do you say, kids? Do something. We got a ratchet card, man. Uh, ratchet card. Yeah, I might give that to SBR for a bag of fucking chip. Straight up. <laughs> Straight up. Tell him to call the Uber next time, and that's all about it's worth. Ten bucks. Give him that card for free. Oh. Come on, dude. What the <laughs> fuck, Martin Perez? He's him. He's him. Yeah, he might be him. He might be him, folks. All right. It's about that time, chats. We got to craft up a squad right here. We need to keep the momentum rolling. All right. We got back in the W column yesterday. We've hit two of our last three squad rides. Javon, I want to see that goddamn train. Let's run it. Sure. W train. Let's get a squad ride going here. Let's get it moving and grooving. All right. Um, let me pull us up here. Bada bing, bada boom. This is why we need Gooch chats. Hopefully he's having a great time out in Hawaii, but you really miss him on days like this. I tell you, he's absolutely fucking dialed in. Chat, let's get a little squad ride cook in here, okay? Let me shout out any sub bangs that we missed. We got Jersey coming in, resubbing as well. W's. Let's fucking go, Jersey. Eight months. Love to see that. All right. Make sure you guys stick around for the surge stream starting up right after this. All right. Um, let me go ahead and get this poll going, Javon. Are there any wagers that you can't get out of your fucking noggin right this second as the Tigers hit a ground ball to get out of the inning and don't score? Any wagers you're locked into? Uh, that over in Kansas City. Or, I mean, I, I don't know which, which way you want it to go with it. If you wanted to isolate to the the classic Megalodon Royals team total, but something with Royals runs in that game is screaming at me. Royals runs? Whether it's team total or the game over. All right, let me take a peep. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's probably just that over in the game. I think it is, too. But I wanted I to leave it up. I think it's just that over in the game, Javon. Just over wanted to leave it up for interpretation. Yep. W's want to make sure we're crossing the T's and dotting the I's. Love that. Yep. Um, Houston, Kansas City, over eight and a half. Chat, if this wins, we got to lock this in ASAP because this might go to nine. Okay. Um, what else, Javon? What else are you in love with today? 
I mean, I really think Savali's getting rocked, Krebs. Yeah. Enough where you want to fade your A's and take the Angels on the ML? Yeah. What is Sandoval showing? You said his fantasy score was higher than Savali, which makes you kind of like the Angels a little bit, right? Yeah. I mean, it's hard to be hard to be scared of, of the Rays lineup, this little half-strength lineup against really anybody right now, Patrick Sandoval or not. So, I mean, he, he looks all right. It's just Savali I have no confidence in today. Mm. Okay. Angels ML or Angels first fivers? Go ML. Angels ML? Yeah. I mean, the Rays, right, Rays bullpen's also kind of banged up, so they're not good either right now. All right. Who's hitting, who's scoring the runs for the Halo? Uh, everybody, Trent. Could be Rendon. He's yeah. up. Crosses the plate today. We got, I have Logan O'Hoppy on my Dinger Tuesday card. Wow. Yep. That could be big. That could be big. Could be we need a no Dinger Tuesday home run lay from Trent as well, too. People forget those yeah, absolutely pay for college tuition. We do need one of those. People we'll forget get it after the stream. Word. W's. Um, Javon, what else, my man? Sharks plus one and a half. How confident are we feeling with that pop? I feel good about the Sharks. I would really love yeah. to put them in there. Let's put them in there, plus one and a half. Let's go Sharks. Let me look at what I got for today. Um, I like the D-backs, I, minus one and a half. It's kind of square. Yeah, I was going to say, Cal Quantrill fade. I feel like you, you want to put that in there. Yeah, but do you? I mean, I have no problem with it. You think the D-backs will uh, win this game by two plus? I mean, I do, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm in. I want to take that. Let's go with – let's go D-backs minus one and a half. Let's keep it simple. Simple. Diamondbacks minus one and a half. Sure. One more, Geyserman. Any other plays floating around that you're vibing with, Javon? Or we got to get back in the lab here? I mean, I do like my Giants team total against Josiah. I don't know how you feel about that. I don't mind that one bit. You don't mind that? No. All right, let me scroll through and make sure we're not missing anything here. I do really like that Houston-Kansas City over. I'm not going to lie to you. That might be the weirdest play on the board. Yeah, it is. Bruh. Hmm. Bruh. What are you bitching about, man? Bruh. Um. All right. Making sure we're not missing any hockey guys or here. Crossing the T's and doubting the I's. All right. Yeah, let's lock in that San Fran team total. Why not? I'm liking it. Man. You good with that? Yeah. Over four and a half. Oh, nice. Pirates hit a nuke. Good. Cool. No way Barry's back for seconds. Barry Olivares. Is that... Is... Yeah, Barry, it's the fucking Olivares two home run game. He's going to be telling his grandkids about. Had that in the whale, baby. Let's go. Yeah, you had his two plus home runs and an eight leg parlay just cashed. Sure. Multi home run, Olivares. He I'm had that with, uh, who just had a 50 point game? Yeah, that was a two piece. Holy smokes. All right, chat, the poll is up. Hurry up. Go, 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 go. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Malachi. All right. Get your fucking votes in, chat. There we go. Get your fucking votes in, chats. Who's going to win? It's a quicker poll today. All right. Who's taking it home? Is it that over in Kansas City? Is it the D-backs? Are you guys laying it? Are you taking a square bet today with the D-backs? Are you looking sharp with Houston and Kansas City? What's it going to be, huh? What's it going to be? All right. If you guys are watching on YouTube and you're asking yourselves, what the fuck is going on right now? I have no idea what this poll is. Where is it? It's in the Twitch chats. Okay. So if you watch on YouTube... That's fine, all right? But if you want to get involved and get your vote in here, it is a democracy, hop over to the Twitch at Book It Sports and leave your vote, all right? Every vote counts, and we need to make sure we get those numbers up uh, for today's Squad Ride poll after a nice little Squad Ride W on Monday. Love that. Let's keep yeah. building momentum here. Nikki saying Sharks is getting so swept. I mean, yeah, look at that. Nobody believes. Five votes. Nobody believes. Javon licking his chops. W. Licking chops. JT Harden likes that uh, Giants team total over. Sure, not many people do, but I like it. All right. 
It's going to be a nail biter here, guys. It's going down to the wire. Who's going to win? Houston, Kansas City over eight and a half. That's what I voted for. Yes, or the e backs minus one and a half. Ever since make Javon brought up that over, I can't stop thinking about it. Straight make up. a run. Uh, Miguelito said Starks and Moose Wager. I'm out. Yeah, I got to restart the show. Out. Yeah, restart stream. Over's making Somebody a push. Like we got to restart. We got to restart. The making a push. <laughs> yeah, we do. This one's going to be tight down the stretch, chat. Who's it going to oh, be? Oh, lost it. Who's it going to be? lost it. Oh, we're back. We're back. We're back. Everyone waiting till the end to be Let's home in Detroit. It's going to be the over in Kansas City. Sure we can. Here we go. Hearts. Sure we can. Hearts. Let's go, chat. Let's go. W's. All right. So let's make it two squad rides in a row this week. Trent, you're not loving this over, are you? I can tell. I'm sadly fading squad ride today. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> Well, Chad, you've been dialed in, man, with the uh, with the Yap reports. Chad, if you want to check out his Yap report from this morning, it's up on the YouTube. All right, go give it a sub. Go give it a like. Okay. Somebody's winning. We'll see who it is. Javon, we'll catch chat tomorrow, same time, same place. Let's hope we get plenty of runs in Kansas City tonight from the trophies. All right? It's the classic. Classic trophy sweat. How about it? W's. Chat, we'll catch you guys tomorrow, same time, same place. We'll be seeing. Peace. <laughs> Yo, you think Dallas is power four gonna drop 30 tomorrow? Why are you tripping? Did you see his mom made a post about going to the game? What? Hold up. Is mama gonna be there? He's been averaging like 34 points a game when she's there. At least 40 when she's down there Jumatron. He don't like to let his mama down. <laughs> pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Cash in on your sports fandom with prize picks. You think Atlanta's point guard is good for 20 tonight? No question. You hear he got name dropped on that new song? He feeling himself for so. sure. Ever since that track drop, he been on fire. The hook literally says his name eight times in a row. He might go for 30. With that much hype, I'd lock it in. That's just me. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Cash in on your sports fandom with prize picks. Oh. It's that fucking easy, boys. You pick more and you pick less. There we are. What's up, fellas? What's up, fellas? <laughs> Bring out the broomski, please. For literal brain rot, boys. Uh, what's good? Happy Tuesday on the Surge stream today. Hope everyone had a great Monday yesterday. How insane was that eclipse? It was insane. That was wild. Kind of fucked up the stream a little bit in terms of dialing in and getting surgical. Uh, but today we're back in the stew, way chiller, way calmer. We've got a couple day baseball games to sweat out. Um, I'm really, I don't even have anything in that Red Sox game. I'm just begging for Debra's hogs. So, uh, nothing in the early games, but we have a bunch of baseball to work. <laughs> Shut up. K Trev, uh, a bunch of baseball to work with and NBA is back. Thank fuck. We've got a million games tonight, a billion baseballs and a billion uh nbas and it's potentially gonna rain which is gonna stop me from doing the fucking lemonade stand today <laughs> push that shit back another day let's fucking go um hope you guys are having a great day though let's get some surgeons filled in queue man we gotta lock in we gotta lock in a lot of nba games that do not matter that's a great point who said that fucking go say tv we need to know which games don't fucking matter uh that's huge we need to know that. So please come with sell jobs. We had some silly fun yesterday, but it's time to lock in and actually dial dial in for some whales. Please, bro. Let's take a quick peek at the surgeons here. Turner fucking Mac, boys. He's up there all lonesome by himself with a 5-0 card. Uh, he's been dialed, chat. There's no doubt about that. Banker better also dialed. Prendy in the sunroom also dialed. Uh, what's his name? Skywalker sent me an interesting DM this morning. Let me pull it up really fast. Might be a good time to buy in on some low hanging fruit here with the surgeons from last month. Last month, surgeons who finished amongst the top have been moose shit in April. So we might have to buy back in. Uh, but W Skywalker always chefing up something sick, man. Um, but let's dial in today and cook up some whales. All right. We got a beautiful slate uh adam's got whalers dude <laughs> uh, i'm fucking with you man i'm fucking with you 
Uh, all right, let's dial in and get surgery. We got a fresh meat sheet. Let's pull that up real fast. It's the second Tuesday of the month. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Before we get surgical, I've got a six-man prize picks. You might want to tail it because I just realized it's the second Tuesday of the month, and that's the only day of the month I actually make coin. The six-man I'm nuking today, it's Reagan's Green Gobby K's. I know it's soft, but hear me out. Reagan's Green Gobby K's, uh, a Glasno Green Gobby K's, and then you got Mike Trout fantasy score, Harden PRA, uh, Giannis points, and... Sabonis RA. That's my sixth man from the morning yap. Go watch the morning yap if you haven't yet. Uh, I'm giving away 200 bucks tomorrow to one person who comments on that post or on that YouTube video. Let me drop the link for the kids and then I will uh, get searched. Let me drop this link to the yap to this morning. Make sure to leave a comment and qualify for a $200 giveaway. I'm picking one dude in the comment section to win 200 bucks on tomorrow's episode. Huge W's. Let's get started. If you have to go corp, let me know. Your play starts in five minutes, Chew. Sorry, bro. Um, let's get it, though. What is it, Chewy? Uh, I got to play in that Red Sox-O's game. I'm going to just roll with the O's money line. Uh, actually, I'm going to change up my sell job. I actually got the sell job from my boy, the one who I'm always going to lunch with. He's actually a Boston Red Sox fan. That's the second favorite team, and he just said, and he just told me that uh, the division matchup, Obviously, as we all know, Cor Corbin Burns is the better pitcher. So I'm going to just go ahead and roll with the better pitcher, better team. Give me the O's on the money line. Trent, as always, you're a GOAT. And as always, you know, everybody, I'll be live in about an hour and a half or so. Come, come see me and the regular crew on there. We'll be talking to Slate. Trent, you are a GOAT as always, man. You look good, man. Have a good you're, day, bro. You're the fucking man, bro. Good luck on this bet. Yeah, I, I bet Kels Nerfy on the Tigers, I bet. Yeah, thanks, Kels. Appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be seeing you. No doubt. Stay goaded, stay goaded. GG. Yeah, thanks, Kells, for that nerfy. Woke up and pissed, I bet. Uh, let's keep it rolling. If you have to go, let me know. Let's go to Chopped Out Bam. You'll though, king of tempo and peace. Woke up and rat shit because of that nerfy, but it's all good. It's all good, bro. Um, today or yesterday, UConn was a whale, one by 10 plus, like I said. Um, today, I'm giving you the Rangers minus one and a half. They play in That's the good. A's. Alex Wood on the mound. Um, Evaldi is a better pitcher. Rangers hit lefties like crack. So that know. is on the the donkey card for me as well, Bamuel. Let's fucking go, brother. Rangers, let's go. Yes, sir. We'll be seized, goat. Yeah, he gets it. He gets it. That was such a lazy Bamuel chopped out play, bro. Just wake up and fade the Oakland A's, but I don't blame him. I don't blame him one bit. Uh, let's keep it rolling. W tempo and pace. Let's go to my guys. I mean, Turner Mac, who is the number one surgeon as of right now. Turner Mac, you're locked, bro. Thanks, bro. What's going on, Trent? How we doing? Doing pretty good. Um, going to go to a uh, pitcher prop today because those have been looking pretty good in the month of April. Um, this one's probably going to be a little sweaty, but I'm going Josiah Gray under pitching outs, uh, 15 and a half on prize picks. Wow. Gray under outs. Yeah, so um, he's he's looked terrible in his first two starts. Uh, four and a third innings pitched and four innings pitched. Gave up six runs, seven runs. Um, just doesn't really look like the guy from last year. So the Giants, they just got smacked yesterday, eight to one. So I can see a bounce back, them trying to get the bats going today. Uh, another thing is Josiah Gray's control has looked pretty bad. They walked two guys and three guys. Um, and just in general in past years, <laughs> He averages about half a walk an inning. So the fact that uh, his pitch count can get up there, and if he's getting hit up a little bit, I could see uh, him getting pulled in the fourth inning again. Or worst case scenario, you know, he goes five, and we we make it by the hook. Yeah. So that, that's what I'm going with today. Okay. Looking to go 6-0 and oh on stream this month with yeah, under outs. Let's go, Turner Mac. Let's get it. We'll be seeing. We'll be seeing, bro. Yeah, he's fucking dialed chat. I can tell he's doing lab work and shit, man. All right. Crazy Uncle Vito. Demon squared demon, dude. What's the move? Yes, sir. Uh, Clint Capella demon more than 13 and a half points. How did I fucking know, dude? I called it last night. You did. You're going with his demon points. Do they have a regular points? Yeah, 11 and a half. You can take that as well. You can put that down. All right. Yeah, we're putting Capella regular points over yep. for Uncle Vito. Yes, sir. 
Fresh cut veto. I love it, man. You look great. We'll be seeing. We'll be seeing, dude. He's the biggest Clint Capella merchant you'll ever find. And they turn green. It somehow always turns green. Uh, Coop Eagle in the Rizzy corner. What's good? What's up, Trent? Uh, How's it going? Got a quick one for you. Uh, Miles Turner over seven and a half boards. Going up against the Raptors, who don't have a center. Centers have been grubbing recently. Giving up, They're giving up the most rebounds in the last 30 and 15 days. Um, Turner's played him twice, and he's averaged 9.5 rebound chances. People are going to look at his last couple games and see he's, he's soared under this, but it's that high for a reason. He's going to okay. grow against the Raptors. Miles Turner rebounds from Coop Eagles corner. Yes, sir. Let's go, bro. Let's Appreciate you. Be seeing. Be seeing. Someone said Miles Turner's banned from stream. Is that true? Yeti, Super Corp, and then Adam's got Whalers. What's up, Yeti? Uh, what's happening, buddy? Ozuna from the Braves was a free wager. Free wager, bro. Great call. He had five bases yesterday. Um, wow. Today, short and simple, it's Dansby Swanson over one and a half HRR. Ken, Ken Bands, get your ass up here and give a pitch and quit chirping and chat, you little bitch, and I'm out. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> Who's Ken Bands? Oh, yes, dude. No, Ken Bands, I highly encourage chirps towards Yeti. Great work. Uh, Adam's got Wales, Elliot Ransom, Brock D, Prendy Betts. What's up? What's up, man? Uh, I suck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, that means you're fucking uh, dude, man. You're due. Hey, man, you know what, man? I'm fucking due. I, I was going to, like, I'm just going to keep coming plays, man. I, I'm coughing my plays. Yesterday was just a baseball play that didn't hit. Uh, I'm going to the best game of the day. Um, it's gonna be the Warriors and Lakers. Like this is a smash game. Like take all props, overs. I'm loving them, but I'm going with Steph Curry. I'm going with my goat. I'm going points. Simple and easy. We're going over the 27 points today. Um, it's a big game for both teams. It's Steph Curry, and uh, that's what I'm gonna go with today. I'm okay. gonna go with Steph over. I think he's. I'm dropping 30 plus today. What's his line? 27. 27. Okay. Straight right. points, buckets, Curry, Lakers. We're getting back on the road. Yes, do don't overthink it. Steph Curry points. If there's anyone to tail right now, it's me against the wall. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Adam's got Whalers. All right, man. Be seeing. Be seeing. Uh, let's go. Aloha picks. You get it, bro. Uh, all right, I'm going. Fucking Prendy, Brock D, Elliot Ransom, Prendy. What's good, my guys? You're Quick question for you. If uh, I, I don't have a player prop today, but I was looking at one. If uh, if their line's 25 and a half and you take 25 and it's still minus 130, would that still count, or is it only if it's on prize picks? Uh, whatever the line is on PP, unless you have a book that shows – unless it's DK. We reference DK. Yeah, green, green book has been minus – I'm not going to take it anyways. I was just wondering for future oh, okay. reference. Yeah. Um, today I'm on the Magic minus three. Um, they're going up against the Rockets who don't have anything to play for. The Magic, if they win out, have a chance to take the second seed in the East. Um, they have to beat the Rockets, the Bucks, and the Sixers. I think they play the Bucks twice. Um, if they win out and Bucks start losing, which they have been with Doc, um, they have a chance to take the second seed in this division. So I like them minus three today. Um, I know trend. I know against the spread, trends don't really matter. Um, but with equal rest against their opponent, they're thirty-one and nine against the spread, and as away favorites, they're eight and three against the spread. So wow. I like them today. Minus Magic three. minus three against the Rockets for Prendy in the sunroom. Yes, sir. Let's go, brother. We'll be seeing. Be seeing. Be seeing. Let's go. Magic minus three. That could be a good play. Elliot, what's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, it was never the Dodgers against O'Bear yesterday. I guess he's just Cy Young all of a sudden. So uh, they only got three hits, one earned run, tip the cap to him, move on. Um, today, a little late night tucked me in. Cody Bellinger over one and a half HRR. Uh, uh -huh. He's hit this line in seven of ten games this season. Uh, he's facing Moose Grove on the mound for the Padres. Uh, he's a, lefties are hitting over four hundred against Moose Grove. So I like Cody in the spot. Somebody else gave Dansby. You basically anyone one through five gonna have a good day against uh, Moose Grove today. Okay, fuck and Moose Cubs Grove. Just, Cubs just blew like a big lead yesterday, so I expect them to come out swinging. Okay, let's go, Elliot. Yes, sir. All right, we'll be seeing. Let's go. Uh, apologies for a leaf blower in background, if you could hear it. Uh, Brock D, what's up, my Gadgerman? What's up, Trent? How you doing? Good, good. How are you? That Snell first inning yeah, pitches can you was. Hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? 
Bro. Yeah, you're just a little delayed on my part. That's all right. Uh, what do you got today? All right. All right. I got uh, AJ Puck over first inning pitches thrown. Uh, it's set 16 flat. Um, I took Lizardo yesterday and he finished at 14. And uh, it was a one pitch out for Torres. So that, that's moose when you first see that. But I think the Yankees batters are much going to be much more patient because they know Puck has a huge walk problem. And I like, again, I think we can see at least 20 pitches in the first one. Okay, let's fucking go, Brock T. You've been killing it with these. Yeah, appreciate it. Have a good day, everybody. All right, we'll be seized, Goat. Stay locked. Mm -hmm. Stay locked. He had Snell first inning pitches yesterday. I've never seen a freer wager in my life. Uh, I'm going to go Easy Jari, Parker's Piss, Ahan. We got Ron Mux Clam, and we got Element G in here. What's up, Easy Jari? Probably the least expected thing I thought Snell was going to do. Versus the Nationals, but it is what it is. Acuna still hasn't hit a home run, bro. So I'm going his fantasy score. Like Acuna. if he doesn't, if he doesn't get it today, then there might be an actual problem with him. But yeah, rumors. Acuna fantasy score. Rumors are swirling that he's wrapping up his internship in Atlanta with the, with the <laughs> boys. Hopefully, All right. Acuna fantasy from Jari. Yep. we'll be seeing. We'll be seeing. So. Uh, by the way, we have a little delay in this Red Sox game. It's because of Tim Wakefield tributes. And if you took the Orioles today, just know you faded that. Uh, let's go to my guy, Ahan. What's up, brother? What's up? I was never the fucking White Sox. Uh, my apologies. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, today, um, we're going back to the NBA. Beautiful slate. Um, Martians, Death Beam, etc. I want Jock Landale over half a block. Um, it's a full-out red rub, but it's still juiced on the sports books to the over for a reason. The magic, it makes sense. They drive a lot, uh, take a lot of shots at the rim. Uh, Rockets have nothing to play for. You're probably going to hear this a million times, but regardless, the absolute floor here should be 15 minutes since Shangun got hurt. He's been averaging 0.64 uh, blocks per 15 minutes, so right now is the time to uh, buy low in this matchup. Jock Landale is swatting some shit. Let's go. I would say new player spawnage, but we've seen him before. We, we have seen him before uh, in the playoffs last year. One Dinger Tuesday pick. It's a requirement out of you. I mean, the guy hitting right now, Javier Baez. <laughs> no way. If he goes yard. Plus 750. I'm, I'm watching the at bat right now, my other, uh, my other window. All right. He hits a home run right now. I'll give you 100 bucks. I bet. <laughs> it's not a bet, but. <laughs> All right, Jack Landell block. Let's get it. Yeah, of course, you you say you recognize a player and don't even say the name right. GG. <laughs> He's always bitching, dude. Uh, let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it rolling. Soccer for the coin. Parker's piss. I'm going Parker's piss first. What up, brother? What's up, Trent? How's it going? Pretty good. I'm going with a book play today. I got Phillies first five minus a half. Uh, I think that's plus one on five on DraftKings. Phillies are starting Zach Wheeler today. He has really good numbers against the Cardinals. Um, seven starts, 2.44 ERA. And the last start against them, he went seven innings, only allowed three hits. But the reason I really like this is the Cardinals are starting Sonny Gray, who hasn't made a start since spring training. He he got hurt on March 4th, and they were gonna they were gonna give him a rehab little rehab stint, but they ended up just bringing him up, and that usually doesn't bode well for pitchers just coming up, not going a month without pitching, and then coming off of an injury. I think the Phillies are going to attack him early, and I think they're going to score a lot of runs. So, Phillies okay. first five. Phillies first five. I like this play, too. I considered it myself. Let's fucking go, Parker's piss. Yep. All right. GG's, homie. See you, bro. He's in. W cell job. We're moving and grooving. I'm going soccer for the coin. Ron Mox and Ozuna LMNGs. Soccer for the coin. What up, bro? Hey, what up? The guy that Lautaro yesterday was a Russian, man. He, <laughs> he had six shots. He hit the post, but he couldn't score. They wow. even got a PK, and, and he, did, he didn't take it. No so, way, dude. Yeah, it was Russian. But <clears throat> today, I'm going uh, – I already gave you the square. I sent it to you yesterday. I put it with Javon Square, uh, LC – and free coin so it's the only square we're uh, well, I'm missing for the 10x wow uh so i i i, I hope you tailed it I, i'm guessing you didn't but uh it's still up in price please i can tell it now what is it yeah it's the goalie from uh real madrid looning is a uh, it's basically a red out square but it's because real madrid hasn't played any competition so they're playing 
uh, for the Champions League. It's the game starting at two o'clock, so you can sweat it like life. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Lunin, Andrea Lunin. Andre Andre Lunin. Three point five. Yeah. Three and a half goalie saves. Yep. Okay, let's fucking go. I'm gonna tail that. I need to find a pair. It starts in thirty eight minutes. Yes, sir. Let's and go. I'll tell it. Yeah, we'll be seeing. Hopefully that 10x comes home. That was surgical of you. It will, yeah. Hopefully. All right. Let's go, bro. Appreciate it. It's in. Damn, dude. So he must have had Seeger, uh, Smith points, free coins, Dakota Joshua hits, and then he needs Lunin saves to get tucked in. Ron Mux clams Bozo Pack. Yes, sir. We're back with the Bozo Packs today. Had to pull out the Avs jersey today. We're going to back the Avs money line today, and we're going to pair that with the Kings money line. Uh, so I got that for two units today. Really like this play today. Uh, I think the Avs are going to uh, take care of business. They're only two points ahead of the Jets in the standings today. Uh, better at home than they are away, and they just had a bad loss recently to the Stars. Uh, so I like a good bounce back spot for them today. And we got the Kings against the Jets today. The Kings are only up one point on the, on a VGK in the standings. They sit in the third spot right now. Uh, so just a big game for the Kings today, I think. The Ducks have nothing to play for, and the Kings are better on the road. So two units on the Bozo Pack. Love the slate today, and let's muck. Let's fucking go, dude. He's got the Kings on the money line fitting the Ratchet Ducks, and he's got uh, the so, abs. Oh, the abs, of course, dude. Of course. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rolling with the abs today. All right, trying to hope you have a great day, man. Hey, you too, brother. We'll be seized, Ron. Yes, sir, man. Appreciate Stay it. Goated. Stay goaded. Rito, man, chill, doggy. Uh, LMNGs. Yo, Trent. what up, yo? On, bro? How we doing? Quinn Hughes air yesterday. Air, dude. Thank you for that. Snap, snap. So uh, I sent you uh, my slip on uh, X on my on DM. On X, huh? If you want to see it real quick. So it's uh, Marzello Zuna hit run RBI with McKinnon shots on goal. You already know <laughs> McKinnon. I don't got to give a fucking solid job on that. I'm taking. His ass every fucking game. Uh, Ozuna, last five out of five, air. Uh, last 12 against the Mets, he's hit 11 games. Uh, yesterday, he had two hits, one run, one RBI. In the past five, he's had six, three, nine, two, five. So he's just a fuck. He's just on another level right now. He's a fucking tank. Um, he is, dude. He really is. So, shit. I mean, I'm loving that today. Um, Basically, averages five plate appearances, two hits, two RBIs, and one run. Uh, here's what I'm going to do, LMNG. I'm going to tail this, but I'm tailing it in the demon way. I'm going two and a half hit run RBI for Ozuna and five and a half SOGs from McKinnon. Nice one, nice one. I was going to add a third leg, but uh, I didn't. I really like Wyatt Johnston on the stars tonight. Oh, all right. Really well, like I'm going to take those two, and we're going to cash that shit out. Let's fucking go, baby. Let's go. All right, bro. I'll be seeing you. We'll be seized, bro. You're him. You're him. He's him. All right, we got we got empty queues. Not really, but let's get some more surges. We got time and room in queue. Uh, let me go to my guys. I'm in Rito, Bear Bats, Pax Picks. Rito, what's up, dude? Rito. Oh, hello. Can you hear me? Yep, there you are. Hold on. You're muted for me. Okay, go now. Ten oh. Rizzies. Yep, ten. Yep, yep, there you are. All right, how you doing, Trent? We're good, Rito. I need a whale from you, man. I know. I think I'm like 1 in 18 or something right now. But yeah. uh, So I'm going to go with Gabriel Mourinho under half a strikeout. Uh, I had this little system play yesterday. I took Luis Keposano under a strikeout, and that cashed. And basically the system is just look for hitters with low strikeouts right now that don't really strike out more so contact hitters against pitchers that don't K. Mm -hmm. And that's who the Rockies are running today. Mourinho only has three strikeouts so far on the season. So I'm just going back to the system I had yesterday. So, All right. Moreno, Gabriel Moreno under a half a strikeout. It's goddamn Cal Quantrill he's going up against, dude. Uh, Cal Quantrill's ass. So. Ass. Moose shit, dude. Yep. All right. Uh, I like it, Rito. I'm tailing that. Bet. Let's do it, bro. All right. We'll be seeing. We'll be seeing. That's such a mean play, bro. He ain't striking out, though. I'm going to go Pax Picks and Bear Bets. Pax Picks, what's up? 
Yeah, Rito was right on the money. Uh, that dude, Cal Quantrill, is ass, uh, especially against the uh, especially against the D-backs, which is where I'm going. Quick question for for the leaderboard: Is minus one thirty good or no? It sure is. That's the, it. That's sure the cutoff. Great. Okay. Cool. So I'm going to the D-backs first half or first five minus a half. Um, D-backs are hitting 300 against Cal Quantrill in 77 at bats with a 3.42 OPS. The total is at 11 and a half. I think they just rock him. I think they come out firing. D-backs money line is a must for the Fugazi. Uh, I know Krabs liked it at minus one and a half. That was like one of the squad ride like options. I think they rolled today. Got a bounce back yesterday with the Twins against the Dodgers in the first half. That got there. So I'm sticking with my first halves. Uh, they've been they've been solid. So yeah, give me uh, give me the D backs today. Okay, D backs first five minus a half. Love the play, Pax picks. Yes, sir. Let's roll. Let's be seeing. We'll be seeing, bro. We'll be fucking. All right, let's keep it moving. Primer uh, says he's got to go corp. Primer and then bear bats. It's good, How's Prime. It going? I saw your goat Yordan go 431 feet moonshot last night. How'd that taste, huh? It, it was awful. I walked out. It had me in shambles. I knew it was over. But uh, I got a four leg for you today. I know you just want one. My favorite one will be Seager one and a half total bases. Sure. Uh, Luka Doncic ten dimes. Kyrie 35 and a half PRA and Garcia one and a half total bases. <laughs> that is the most book it with prime shit I've ever seen. Hey, your uh, prize fix blessed me yesterday I, uh, with that. Uh, Valdez got uh, DNP'd, and I didn't cancel the entry. And uh, Heaney, he didn't throw any K. He threw one K or two Ks. His line was four. And I woke up, and they just refunded me my money. Love that. Unlike your bookie. Yeah, unlike the bookie. Have a great day. <laughs> Let's go, Prime. See you, buddy. We'll be seeing uh, see what happens when you just tail Dallas team strictly. You end up in moose shit. Bear Bats Guru Griff. What's up, Bear Bats? What's going on, Trent? How you doing? Great, brother. How are you? Doing well. Keller was absolutely free yesterday. Nine strikeouts through a gem at his uh, fantasy score. Um, today we got uh, Jalen Brunson over 10.5 RA. Um, he's gone over this line four out of his last five games. Had 13 against the Bulls and 16 against the Bulls in his two matchups this season. I really like this play. All right. Brunson's RA against the Bulls tonight. He hit it with his uh, just assist in the in the two games they played him too. So I, I really wow. like him. Interesting. Nugget. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's go, dude. Bear bets. Have a day. Have a day, bro. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. Be seeing, be seeing. Let's get the meat sheet up so you all can see. Um. W. Guru Griff, what's up, doggy? Can you hear me? Yep. Okay, bet. Uh, Bozo Pack today, we're going with the Rangers money line over the A's prime. If the Rangers lose today, I think your team should be banned for at least a week of you coming on here and giving your team if they lose to the fucking Oakland A's. Max, and bro. then we're, we're pairing with it. We're going with the uh, Yankees alternate line plus one and a half. I know it's an alternate line. That's why they're Bozo Packs, chat. You pair them together, it's minus 110. That's what a bozo pack is. Rumors are going around that Kells better come on and give an absolute donkey because everyone is in piss with that nerfy. So, Kells, you, you got to come on. Kells, I saw you in queue 10 minutes ago. Get your ass back in here. You guys have a good day. You guys have a good day. Say go to Guru. We'll be seeing. Yeah, you just got called out. We got puck drop in Boston, fellas. Brock D in dugout. And we got puck drop Gunnar Henderson at dish. Um, let's go to Putts. Putts, I've needed your play for a while, man. What's up, Putts? What's up, brother? How's, How's it going? going? Chilling, man. Chilling. It's going good here. Um, so question here. Do you think do you think uh Embiid at least gets a double double tonight against the dog shit pistons? Uh do the Sixers need this game? They do. They're on the edge. They're in the play in, but they have a chance to be out of the play in. They're right behind the Pacers, I believe. Well, then, yeah, I think he absolutely should. Okay. Well, then we're going to take Embiid over nine and a half rebounds. It's super low. Um, he's going to be probably playing at least 30 minutes tonight. Um, so even if he plays only three quarters and sets the fourth like he used to, he's getting all his 
all the stats in the world in those three quarters. So, okay, Embiid nine and a half rebounds. Yep, for pots. That that line just you know he he'll be bumped up to the double digits. You know that right before the has playoffs, to be, so. bro has yeah. to. Okay, I like right. it. I respect it. Let's go, pots. All right, let's have a day. We'll be seas. See you, boys. Stay locked and goaded. Stay locked and goaded. Um, beautiful. Kells, are you good? Are you corp or what? You don't got much time. We're good. Let's go. Kells, Kells PODs. What up? Yeah, sorry. I'm super corp. Um, All good. I totally gave you a shit bet yesterday. So, hand up. I mean, Michael Bunting should have gotten a point on that first goal. He's the reason it was scored, but it is what it is. Yeah, he got um, robbed a million times and had a million SOGs, so I'll give you that. Yeah, he was buzzing. He was their best player by far. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, right, read, wrong result. Um, yep. So today I'm going to go back to shots on goal, um, and we're going to go to Steven Stamkos um, because his demon is three and a half, and they're playing Columbus, who gives up the most shots in the league to right wingers, which Ooh. Steven Stamkos is at the moment. So uh, I really like his demon tonight. He's hit. He's had six in both game, both of the last two games he's played against Columbus. So I think he should be able to get four, especially with the power play time. So. Yep. Yep. Okay. I like at. this one. It's a demon square, mm -hmm. right? It is a demon square. Yeah. Okay. Stamkos, SOGs, POD from Kells in the corp cubicle. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. All right. Have a great right. rest of your corp day. Yeah. Will Benson's. Will Benson's. Absolutely. <laughs> World Baseball Classics, GG. Super Corp Cubicle. Uh, we got an early out here. Uh, one two or a two one count, and we got Noble in Q. Noble, I'm sorry about Purdue, man. It happens, bro. It happens, man. I've been uh, terrible this month. I don't know what the fuck's going on, man. <laughs> I, I, you you would have thought we were hanging out or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, it's all good. I'm happy to see when you win, bro. So that's always great because you know the people in your DMs be going crazy. So today, um, what we're gonna go with is really two plays, either one that you want to go with, and we're just going with the situational matchup in the NBA because of what's going on in the conference standings right now, um, especially on the Eastern Conference, right? I'm gonna kind of go through this real quickly, right? We got the Bucks right now, who are the two seed, the Magic are the three seed, the Knicks are the four seed, the Cavaliers are the five seed. The Bucks literally have four games left. All these teams have four games left. And what can happen is they can literally go from the two seed all the way down to about the five or six seed, depending if they lose to the Magic twice. And then they have, um, I think they have the Thunder and then the Celtics tonight. So for me, I'm going with the Knicks today on the spread, minus four and a half, or you go with the Magic, minus the two and a half, minus three and a half. Um, either play, put it on down on the leaderboard. They're both going to hit. The reason why is because their playoffs are starting right now for both of these teams. They know that their positioning, their seeding is there where they can move up in the standings. They even get to that two seed, lock in the three seed. The Knicks are playing the Bulls today. They should be able to get that win. The Magic are playing um, – who's, who's the Magic's playing? Um, I'm, 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 they're playing the, the Rockets. The Rockets yep. are mathematically out of it as well. The Bulls, their seeding is locked in. They're going to be in a playing game for sure, so not much to play for on that side. So for me, give me the Knicks. On the spread, give me the uh, Rockets. I mean, not the Rockets. Give me the Magic on the spread to get it done today. Put those two in a bozo pack if you want to on the money line. But those are that's my pick for today uh, because of just playoff based basketball now at this point for both of these teams. Yeah, we love it, Noble. Before you go, what's your nerfy of the day? Um, nerfy of the day is Phillies and um, Cardinals. Sunny yep. Gray versus Zach Wheeler. It's a little bit juiced right now, but we're gonna go with that. Sunny Gray does pretty good in the first round through the rotation. But it's the second time through the re rotation that he really gets hammered. So let's just go with that nerfy there uh, for the Phillies and the uh, Cardinals. Let's go. All right, Noble. W cell jobs. Knicks minus four and a half. Cardinals nerfy. Yes, sir. Let's have a day, brother. Let's get it, bro. Much Good love. Man. GGs. BCs. My guy C Steel's got to go corp. I think that nerfy is Gavin's eggplant of the day. Uh, for those that are tapped, no way Tigers in all caps. What happened? Did the oh my god, the Tigers! Ah! Whoa, it was 4 3, now it's 3 3. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. C Steel, what up? 
How's it going? Hopefully the Tigers come through. I'm on them too. But yep. I got to play in the Champions League. I'm going to an under. I'm going Real Madrid, Man City, under two and a half goals. Man City, under two and a half goals. Man City, Real Madrid total. team not, like For the yeah. game, two and a half. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Whenever they took away the away goal rule in 2019, first leg unders are hitting at an insane rate. So going to it today. Okay. All right. WC Steel under two and a half, Real Madrid, Man City. Yep. Let's go, dude. Be seeing. Be seeing. What do I need to do to, uh, what's the word? Speak a Devers hog into the Earth's existence. What do I need to do, chat? Do I need to get on? Do I need to get in the position? Do I need to hit? What do I got to do? Hit the jewel? What is it? How do I bring a Devers hog on Tim Wakefield day? Uh, on air sign, bat hit it? No, dude, no. Um, all right. Someone come give me a max. I'm requesting a W new face. I'm in fact demanding it. Well, tell you're frozen. Let me know. Three jewel rips and he'll he'll hit a whale. All right, three in a row. <laughs> All right, he better hit one. He better hit one. Uh, if a Tyler O'Neill hits one and Devers doesn't, I'm done, dude. I give up. Uh, hold on. Let me pull the game up before I go to Welta. W. Zach McKinstry for the Tigers coming through for the kids. I'm also covering chat, bro. I can't deal with you guys' bullshit. We got Durant at the plate. Welta? Welta, are you there, bro? You're frozen as cooch. You're frozen as cooch. I'll bring you back later. Covering chat. And Durant with a quick one. Ran with a quick one. GG. All right, boys. Here we go. Here we fucking go. Devers hits a hog. I'm giving away some coin, man. Devers hits a hog. I'm giving away coin. Let me see a Devers Raffy scoop. Runs. on deck coming off five home runs on that west coast swing five home runs dude here let me tell you something right now that's like hugging a brick you know what yep. house I, I, I might be better than gabe kapler's body over the years oh i, I think it is i felt gabe <laughs> uh you know we were locker mates he was his locker was right next to mine lulu and yep. uh, it's probably not the way it should have been because my body and his body don't match up but let me tell you right now Tyler, that is a brick, brick, uh, strong. What is he talking about, dude? Get out. GG. Yeah, kind of All right, Welta, give me some whalers. I thought that was gone, bro. Low key. Welta, what up, dude? Hey, what's up, man? First, hit that, hit that. I don't know if you smoking the same thing I'm smoking, but. <laughs> Let me hit this motherfucker first, bro. <laughs> All right, I'm going with my goat. I'm going with Zaka assist, bro. Zaka assist, huh? Yeah, it's going back to that. That's going to be one of my plays. Okay. Uh, I like I like Barkov over his SOGs today. Barkov? They ain't got Frank. Yeah, they ain't got Frank. Frank shot the damn combo. Yeah. With uh, Kente, so. <laughs> I didn't All right. like too, man. You're lagging Goal a little bit. Gonna be Clayton Keller. Goal score, Clayton Keller. Because I I gotta get a, yeah I gotta get a new service around here, man. This shit fucked up around here, so yeah, I gotta you gotta get, get Texas phone, I guess. You gotta get that figured out, brother. Uh, yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. Clayton All Keller right. for a goal tonight. Bro. Clayton Keller to go go Zaka Demon assist POD. You got it. All right, let's go, Welta. Yeah, let's roll some up, man. Yes, sir. Stay locked and stay goaded per usual. If Tyler O'Neill hits a home run, I'm fucking done gambling. 
Um, butt naked cues. Let's go. My prescription's ready. GG. No, 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 no. No. Yeah. No. I made a lot of friends here. Slap it high. Deep drive. Left field. Watch this baby go. It is totally out of here. <laughs> oh, he has a feel for the moment, doesn't he? OB calls out. I'm going to go on the record and say that was called by yeah. OB because the next pitch goes over the monster. Wow. He got a head and curveball. I tell you, Tyler O'Neill, the one thing I've seen in the first 10 games, like quality at bats, he doesn't chase, you leave in the zone. It's a short swing. As you mentioned, the guy is jacked and hits bombs, so he doesn't need much. How about starting a career off here in Fenway Park like that? Worst part about that, worst part about that. I have his under fantasy score in a slip. Worst part about that. We got, oh, damn, it's Austin in Q. Oh, damn, it's Austin. What's up, my guys? Man? What's up, Trent? How you doing? Good, bro. How are you? Good. Uh, so the Angels, I mean, they won. I'm happy on that, but we couldn't get over that eight and a half. We got hooked yeah. on that eight. Um, but we move on. Here's what it is. I'm glad the Angels won. That's all that matters. But um, uh, I got to play for you today. Um, I'll let you choose. I got three guys that I like. One is uh, SGA, one's uh, Curry, and the other one's PJ Washington. Wow. Which one do you want? Give me the SGA play. Fuck it. All right. So I know SGA is coming back from his injury. Um, I'm taking his point line. That should be at 28 and a half still, if I'm not mistaken, on price picks. Yeah. If not, maybe. All right. Cool. Um, I, I like it regardless. Um, he's hit it in six straight games against the Kings. He's had 30 plus in all six of those. Um, I think this is their third matchup of the season, third or fourth matchup of the season. Like I said, he's had 30 plus in each one of them. Uh, coming off the injury, it could care less. Um, he is their offense. Uh, these last few games of the season, are the guys want to go out there and, you know, show up before the uh, playoffs start. Um, a lot of the bottom end tiers of the Western Conference, there's a lot of guys that can be pushed in and out. So, like, a couple of these games later today are going to be really good. But um, SGA, like I said, there's a chance Jalen Williams is out too, which just bumps up his usage. But over his uh, his uh, 28 and a half points should be pretty free, in my opinion. Uh, like I said, six straight against the Kings. But that's what I got for you. Um, and that's hopefully uh, everything else goes good. Sorry about that. No, uh, you're I good. There right there, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right, Austin, I love the play. SGA points. Let's get it, bro. All right, man. You guys have a good day. All right, you too. We'll be seeing. We'll be seeing. Yo, chat, did this end up hitting? Anyone know if, if this hit? Hold on, before I get big play bobber up here. Um, did this hit? Dude, what am I doing, bro? What the fuck am I doing, man? Uh, We got big play bobber. That was bad. That? that was a bad one. That's bad. <laughs> um, Nick spread. Four and a half, five and a half. I don't really know what it is. Um, that's what we're going with. I've seen both. That's why. Well, um, whatever Skywalker says, I'll take. So. Okay. Uh, four and a half. Big play, Bobber. Sweet. Nick's, Nick's minus four and a half. Sweet. Yeah, they played the Bulls four days ago and lost outright. Game they should not have lost. Uh, they're kind of in must-win scenario right now. Right now, the entire East is so. Um, but the Knicks need it more than the Bulls right now. So. That's Facts. Great. Okay. They don't pitch that today? I joined late. I couldn't. Uh, Noble did. That's oh, it, though. All right. Sweet. Let's go. Please. Appreciate you, Bobber. Yes, sir. We'll be seeing. We'll be seeing. And everybody's Jeffrey because the Tiger. Jake Rogers brings home Carpenter. Yeah, I think that's going to be it for Bednar. And check and see the uh, condition of Baez. Like he got hurt. And everybody's Jeffrey. Everybody's Jeffrey. Congrats, everybody. You're Jeff. Fucking bugs. I don't understand. Fucking ratchet gamblers, man. I'm fucking tired of this shit. 
<laughs> so I got butt naked cues. Someone come give me a fucking max. I got butt naked cues, man. Everybody's goddamn Jeffrey. I can't hit a fucking wager. Nate's picks in queue. Dub new face potential. Yep. Yep. W new face. That's w new face. Oh, dude. dude. I needed one. <clears throat> I've been watching for like probably like a year, year and a half. Let's go. W, man. And then, um, so I'm actually from Kansas City. So I'm actually fading. I'm fading the Royals tonight. Oh, wow. Fading the Royals. They're, wow. they're hot. And whenever they start getting hot, they're just going to die down. And yeah. I've watched them for too long. And I, I don't know. I was kind of hesitant about Javier pitching tonight because I don't like him that much. <laughs> I don't think anyone yeah. does. But yeah. Um, yeah, I think we. I think we're just fading the Royals tonight. I think they're gonna stop stop getting hot. Okay. Now you're right. It's everyone's new shiny favorite toy, especially exactly. Corey Higgins. Get it. Bring out the trophies, man. Bring out the trophies. <laughs> we're fading them. Yep. All right. <laughs> Astros money line for Nate's picks. W mm -hmm. first timer. So yeah. All right. We'll be seeing, bro. Nice to meet you. Yep, you too. BCs, BCs. <sighs> that Tyler O'Neill just hit that ball 500 feet, dude. Bobby McNuggets, what's up, homie? Bro, I'm not going to lie. I was on Yerfi. Wow. So I'm sorry. You, I'm you sorry, just got bro. backdoor Mimod. Backdoor Mimod. She left it open. Uh, <laughs> tonight, late night sweats for you. I don't know if I, I actually didn't look at the spreadsheet yet. We have LeBron boards on there yet. Oh, no, we don't. Okay. It, I don't know if it changed. It was at seven and a half, and you actually have an eight and a half demon, which is actually pretty good. He's hit eight boards and eight straight versus Golden State. Five of six this season with two days rest. He sat out last game because he was hurt. And they're one and a half back um, with a game in hand of avoiding the plan. So they're trying to fucking get out of that shithole. And I think LeBron will be tuned up at home in this one. So LeBron over wow. seven and a half. All right. Good Bobby news. McNuggets is Jeffrey after that Tyler O'Neill gag. And now he's going with uh, LeBron rebounds. Yes, sir. Be All right. Let's go, Bobby. Be seen. Be Bobby McNuggets. And if you wanted to take that goalie play, it just got bumped. So GG. We got Achilles in queue. Achilles, what's up, dude? Goats are every day, always muted. Every day, man. What's hey, up? Sorry about the Brewers yesterday, man. I didn't think uh, Wax the Donut was going to have the game of his life. So that's <laughs> on me. I'm sorry. Um, okay. Today I'm going to run it back with the Hurricanes to beat the Bruins. Uh, I think they're 1-1 one one or 1-2 one and two on the year. Don't care. I'm taking 115. Five units, 545 to 1500 on the Canes. Wow. Yeah, I hate the Bruins. I got to get back in the green. I like uh, the under hit yesterday, so I should have just pitched that to you. I didn't want to. I didn't want to take the squad ride, man. So I feel that. I feel that. All right, Achilles, let's get it with the Hurricanes tonight. Five U Max. Pasta under goals, man. Don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> you see him, bro. Later, man. Peace, peace. W's. We're moving and grooving. BJ Cheek, what's up, dude? Cheek. What's up, man? How's it going? How's it going? Good, good, good. Yeah, uh, the guy two guys ago uh, pitched uh, the Astros, and that's why I was going to come on and do so. Yeah, I like Astros. Astros, money line. Uh, and then I like, uh, yeah, 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 Astros, money line. And then, um, and then to get like a little sneaky judge didn't get hit last night. I like him to get a hit. Okay. You're lagging yeah, on me a I'm little fired. bit. You're lagging on me, hella, but I heard the play. Astros, Astros ML. Uh, I think he said Judge to get a hit. You think Twitch or StreamYard's bugging? One of the two's bugging? Am I bugging? We got Nappy in queue. Nappy, StreamYard's bugging per rumors. Per rumors. Yeah, that dude did sound like McDonald's. I'm going to go Tyrese Mack and bricked up Nappy. Tyrese Mack, what up, dude? Hey, Trent, it's my first time on here, man. Let's go. I'm, I'm from the barrier, man. I've been tuning in with you for like the last two years, man. Fuck yeah, the bro. The only play I got for you, man, is Lakers, Lakers money line and Lakers minus two and a half, man. I'm from the Bay Area. I don't fuck with the Warriors. And trust me, I know my team, and I know the Lakers going to get it done today. Wow. Okay. 
Lakers. No yaps, that's, man. that's all I got for you, man. We real Bay Area dudes out here, man. I love it, though. Peace. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Nice to meet you, Tyrese. Yep. We'll be seeing, bro. W's, man. Love that. Justice for Coastal. Steph over Twitter follow and PPC. I do own PPC, man. All right, bricked up nap. What's up, dude? Trent, how we doing? We good, man. How are you? Bro, recovering from that fucking L last night. Um, I don't, I don't get how that shit didn't go over, but we moved. Oh my god, that was moose. Bro, like he could have tagged up. There was a guy on second in the tenth. I'm not yapping, but he could have tagged up. The ball got caught. He didn't tag on a routine ball to the warning track, and then Goldschmidt got a base hit with him on second, and he literally stood between second and third. I was just <laughs> like, what the fuck? Today, I'm moving on. Do you want a nerfy or do you want a total? Let's go with a total. All right. It's going to be over eight and a half in the Astros-Royals game. Um, I think it's another spot where the line is a little low, in my opinion, especially with the way the Astros looked over the weekend. Um, they were whacking the ball in Texas pretty consistently as a team. Reagans is good, um, but I think the lefty-on-lefty -lefty matchup isn't really a problem. Jordan's mashed off him career-wise, so has Tucker. Um, I think both those guys could easily have a big game. And then, obviously, the heart of that lineup, you still got Bregman and Altuve also. Um, and Abreu also is another guy, I think, tonight who could have a pretty good game. But I do think this game goes over. Um, I think that that line should be higher, more towards nine and a half. Um, but I think they're accounting for Reagan's having a pretty good start to the season, as well as Javier. But I think tonight that's too short of a line. So I'll be taking the over. It's minus 115 in most spots. Um, so I got a unit on that. Okay. Let's go, Nappy. The over in uh, Kansas City, Houston. Yep, yep. Just need bangs in KC tonight. Just need bangs in KC, brother. Yep. Let's yep. get it, man. Bounce him back. Yes, sir. He sees. I don't have the gut to tell him that I already faded it. I didn't have the gut to tell him. So I'm fading sharp, bricked up, Nappy, and the squad ride today. I'm going to show you guys who knows ball. I'm going to show you guys who knows more ball as the Orioles, per Brock D in the dugout, are on the board. What'd they do? Uh-oh. Off the monster. The second base goes down. So he's really been on fire. He drives in the tying run. So the walk and the still in the base were costly, and it's a 1-1 game. You put one up on the board, you get a couple of nice quick outs. It's that two out walk, right? Especially a guy that can run. A guy like Mullins, you kind of would like to see him challenge him a little bit. But this was actually 97 mile an hour sink, kind of inner half. Off the bricked up green goblin monster. 1-1 one, one game, I think. Yeah, ones, ones. Butt naked cues, boys. No free coin POD, which is tough. Not too many shell plays. We heard from Shelly yesterday he was going to come on stream bricked up, ready to sell some shit, and he's nowhere to be found. So uh, let's lock in and craft maybe. Oh, he's here. <laughs> all it takes, all it takes is just a quick little chirp. And we got a free coin whale. Let's go, dude. Wait, isn't Tuesday, isn't it Cook It With Shelly Day? Isn't that on Tuesdays? Who be, who's tagging me in the real app at this hour, man? Tyler O'Neill gag. Yeah, thank you. That's what it is. That's what must. Oh, it's on Thursdays? Our graphic says Tuesday. Free coin in the chilliest garage. What up, my guys here? What up, what up, what up? So your record is saying you have one loss? I forget what the loss was. Uh, Dry saddle on Friday. Oh, my. Fuck that, dude. Yeah, of course. That was, yeah, I was like, what was that? But yeah. yeah, I remember now. I remember. Uh, all good. Was always Joshua last night. You're still dialed. Yeah, yeah. He was free. Free. I think he ended up with eight. So we'll take that. We'll take... And then, yeah, later in the day, I figured out that it was Keegan's birthday. So I was like, all right, we got a little late night here. Wow. <laughs> um. So anyways, we're going to today. We're going to a game that had over 70 plus hits in it last time they played two weeks ago. It had 60 plus hits in it the game before that. It's the Nashville Winnipeg game. You know where I'm going here. It's Jeremy Lawson over four and a half hits today. Oh, my God. He's had seven and six in the two games that he's played in the top four role. Um, I'm pairing it. I'm, well, another piece that I'm going to give you in my card, if you want it, 
is Brendan Dillon. He's on the other side of the ice playing for Winnipeg. He's got five, six, six in the three games this year. These teams hit the shit out of each other. So okay. I'll say that kid's name again. Dylan. Brendan Dillon's the second guy. Look, you can put Lawson. Lawson on the sheet. Okay. Brendan Dillon, new player spawnage. Oh, you've probably heard about him before. But yeah. <laughs> anyways, that's where we're right. going. <laughs> Appreciate you, Free Coin. You've been killing it. Stay locked. Let's stay locked. You bet. Cheers. All right. We'll be seeing. We'll be seeing. All right, chat. You know what? Fuck, man. We'll bring back that shit ain't hitting. Next stream, we'll have it. Tomorrow, we'll have it. Let's go to, uh, we got some more guys spawning in here. You guys are speak, you've spoken. I'll fucking give it to you, man. Fuck. Banker better. You've been locked in as well. What's up, my goat? What's going on, Trent? How we doing? Doing good. Yesterday, no basketball, so I didn't have any plays. Uh, today, coming back with somebody I pitched a couple days ago, going Brunson, points and assists again. Um, Guy's been dialed. They lost outright just the other day to the uh, to the Bulls. Um, saw a little interview. He said that he needs to wake the team up. They need these couple last couple games. Um, going against the Bulls again, points and assists. I think somebody covered that he uh, he had his rebounds and assists on assists alone. Guy's been dialed, dishing out dimes. Um, I think he drops probably thirty five today in ten assists. It covers the line pretty easy. Okay, banker better. I'm looking for my NBA squares. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to trust you today, bro. Are we? I'm, I'm taking. I'm. I'm pretty confident. My little bozo pack is gonna be uh, my square and Vito's square. He fed me last time. We're gonna take that. Put two units on it. Wake up with, with green. Bro. I'm gonna have to fucking roll with Vito as well, man. All right, All right thank you. Better. Him. We'll be seized, bro. Stay locked. Chat, change of plans. We might be betting on some fuzzy green balls today. Hold on, though. I got some other guys, and then we'll go fuzzy green balls. Uh, I'm going to go Spencer J in the car. What's up, dude? What's up, man? How you doing? Good, bro. How are you? All right. I think we're going to go to uh, the Suns game tonight, Grayson Allen over threes. Grayson Allen threes. Yep. Uh, Shooting the lights out recently. So. Yeah, he's been him. He's literally been him. Yep. So we're okay. Gonna have a good man. Right. Let's go. GG, Spencer. Never a sell job, just vibes of the play. Uh, attempts. What's up, attempts? What's going on, Trent? All right. Been How are we doing? I'm going to take Siakam over 22 and a half. Siakam points. Yep. He's went over this two times when he's played the Raptors. And he's five out of six on the road. And I mean, I'm just going to ride it. Okay. <laughs> Siakam over 22 and a half from attempts. All right, we'll be seeing. We'll be seized, bro. Appreciate you. Let's go, dude. Siakam's family of Jenks. That could be a Jenks' cousin, bro. Still pissed about that Tyler O'Neill. Max Crosby, I can't read the rest of the name. Max Crosby to the top Glazer. Yo, what's good, man? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Are you a Max Crosby Glazer? Oh, come on now. You already know. Come on. <laughs> I can't wait for football, man. Fuck. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But, hey, I don't know what that last dude was talking about. Bay Area, but fading the Warriors going. I don't know. He he ain't really from the Bay. Bro. <laughs> but look, I got I got Victor Wimbanyama. You can take PRA, Fantasy, whatever you want to take, man. Going against the Bulls. Or not the Bulls, sorry. The Grizzlies. Jaron Jackson, fake-ass defensive player of the year. He ain't guarding shit, bro. No need, no, no, no sell job needed. Okay. Sure. Wimbanyama what? PRA, my favorite play is fantasy because you know the blocks and steals. Yeah. PRA, rebounds, points, whatever. Okay. I love it. Let's go, Max Crosby, top glazer. Yes, sir. Glaze him up, baby. Glaze him up. We'll be seeing. We'll be. <laughs> All right, Asim, I need those fuzzy green balls in my on my sheet. <laughs> what up, Asim? What's up? No, I'm good. Um, I need the Max I talked to Skywalker, but the play starts in the morning. Tomorrow morning? Yeah. Fuck. All right. What is it? How early? Um, It should be like 8 a.m. Okay. Um, The play is Holger Rune minus one and a half sets. This is uh, Holger's first match of clay. Uh, this is ATP Monte Carlo. Um, he's 
defending bunch of points here. He made the final here last year. And he start he ended his hard court swing in Miami playing poorly. He got destroyed one and one. He also wasn't healthy, I think, here. Um, he gets a couple weeks rest, and this is his best surface. Um, these courts are pretty much the slowest clay courts on tour. And he's playing Summon Nagal, who um, just got a huge win uh, against Arnaldi. This also, he's Indian. He's the first Indian to win a clay court Masters 1000 match. And so that's like a big result. I want to fade that in the next match. And Holger's kind of doesn't, is going to dominate with uh, his forehand and stuff here. And Nagal doesn't really do too much. Okay. Holy Wooten with 10 gifted sub whales. Let's go. Putin loves prize picks. Rune minus one and a half sets versus Nagal Wednesday morning. Yeah. Let's go, ASIM. Need you locked in. Have a good one. All right, you two go. Stay locked and loaded. Stay locked and loaded. W Putin with the 10 gifted subbers. That's 10 less people in chat bitching about ads. Let's go, man. Love you, bro. Thank you. Uh, no Devers at bat this inning. We'll be getting it next inning. Uh, Josh Mitty asked for the link. Let's give it to him. Papa Poops, what's up, dude? Yo, what's good, Trent? I've been serving up cake lately. Holy shit, looking like a baker up in here. Yeah. Uh, let's change it around. Let's change it around, though. Um, we got Florida playing against uh, Ottawa today uh, on the ice. I like Florida by two. Um, Ottawa don't have much to play for anymore. Um, and they've been they've been playing with grit, but I think uh, I think Florida could come out here and probably a four one five one game from Florida. Um, good look would possibly be the over. Um, I think there's pucks going to be flying everywhere, but it's definitely Florida minus one point five. Wow, Panthers by two. Yeah, and it's plus money. Yeah, that's plus. Yeah, that's plus chick. Yeah, plus chicky, hold the fries. All right, let's fucking go, Papa. Poop. Let's go, let's go. And Trent, hey, you got to hit a four man or something here. I am rooting for you. I need it, man. Uh, we we need some coin back here. Okay, we need it. We can't keep paying Prize Picks as lights and their electric bills and their water, bro. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, we we'll need be it bad. Him. We'll be seized, Papa Poop. Stay locked. Yeah, my PP entries last month uh, have funded Prize Picks' brand new $25 million headquarters in the city of Dallas. Josh Mitty, what's up, dude? Yo, what's good, Trent? How we doing? Good, bro. How are you? Chilling. Uh, today, back to the NBA, I'm going uh, Knicks minus five on the road versus the Bulls. Uh, they just played the Bulls two games ago. Lost at a pick em spread with the same, same, like, same team, same healthy roster, whatever. Um, and now we're getting minus five on the road. I think, I think this is just telling. I think the Knicks will roll tonight in a bounce back spot against the Bulls. You think uh, Brunson has a legacy game? Uh, probably. I mean, he always does for the most part. So probably. So okay, let's go, yeah. dude. All right, I'll see. You. Stay go to Josh Mitty. Be seeing rumors swirling of a goal in the soccer game. Chad Splugin for it. Freem the dream. What's up? What up, Trent? How's it going? Good. How are you? Chilling, bro. Um, I can't even believe I'm giving this pick out, but we're gonna fade SGA tonight over point or under points, rebounds, assists. First game back, I just, dude, I can't see him getting like full minutes. Um, late in the season, they definitely are trying to protect him for playoffs. I'm taking the under here, points, rebounds, assists. I saw someone took his over points. I kind of like that, but. I'm not banking on him getting a whole lot of rebounds, assists. Okay. I don't know. Taking the under. Something's telling me. All right. SGA unders feels it in his plums. Feel it. Let's go. Frame the dream. All right, Trent. We'll be seeing. We'll be seeing, bro. GG Hadid. GG Hadid. All right. Uh, any last second splugers in queue that are going to spawn in? If not, I'm going to craft. It starts with lay zone hits and probably Brunson. What do we think? A four man or a six man today, chat? I'm thinking if we went six man, two NBA, two MLB, two NHL, vintage super goats. Vintage super goats. People forget. If you dumb it down, you're telling me a million players lacing them up today. A million players. We can't pick two NBA winners. Two billion players in the MLB. 
lacing them up today. We're, we can't pick two MLB squares that are green. And three billion players are taking the ice tonight. We can't pick two fucking ho hockey goblins that are green. You're telling me we do this every fucking day and we can't pick two goddamn squares in each sport. Do I want another Giants play? Uh, maybe hold on to that one. Holy fat girls. Ah! Let's go, fat girls. You're him, bro. Thank you for the 10 gifted sub whalers. <laughs> Is Snell coming back out? Is Snell coming back out? It's, he's on prize picks for a half a K in the next inning. He's supposed to come out. And then big is the big is the white. Big is the white. Big is the white. Big is the Super Bowl. But the difference is it's just two guys playing shit that they did in the studio. Niggas usually say I just I just want a word with that with that man if he ever spawns back in here. He ain't spawning back in here for the rest of the year though. Uh, yay lads bro you think i can do it today man you think i can lock in and cook up a gob shelly am i supposed to wait until you turn the camera on or what no w's i'm i'm fixing my camera hold up oh yay lads you think i got it in me today bro two nhls i say we cook a main wow josiah gray scratched Wow, that's tough. That's tough for what's his name? Fucking Turner Mac POD. That's tough. Our leading surgeon's play just got scratched or rooney. Can I just get W's in chat for not putting a pitcher in the goat whale to, uh this year? Please, W's. That's what hey! I'm not getting nearly as many W's as I deserve. And for that, I'm not giving you guys my plays. Shelly in the Bucky's logo. Thank you, K3 Trev, CP30. Shelly, you're in the Bucky's hoodie. Told me to get locked, Chen. I got locked. All right. Did you now? I did. I um, can't wait to hear it, man. I have a POD that I'm literally so positive is hitting uh, on the books, but you're probably not even going to take it. The first period under one and a half in the Red Wings and the Capitals game. I took it last time these two teams played. The game went over. If you remember, the squad ride was the under, but I'm ta I took the first period under and that first period finished 0-0. So Big I am on this first period under these two teams absolutely need, need, need these points. Uh, both teams might be even be playing for, you know, overtime eventually, which they ended up, I believe, going to overtime last game. I know it was 4-3. I can't remember if it ended in reg or not. Uh, but regardless, this first period is going to be physical. Uh, it's going to be similar to how a playoff game would play, except with two teams who struggle to score. Uh, and both goalies, we have Lingren, Trent. Come on. You know Lingren's locked. Lingering uh, in the yo, on the back. I don't know what that is, but I'm trying to find the fucking big brain meme. Can't find uh, um anyway, yeah. First period under my play of the day today. Uh we're smacking that. And then I will give you an SOG. We're going back to SOGs to end the year. Owen Tippett. Owen Tippett today. Now hear me out. He's not a guy I would normally go to. He's at three and a half. Flyers lost the Canadians last time they played. Obviously, every game now for the Flyers is a must win. I think they struggled today, today against the Habs in Montreal. Owen Tippett's their main guy who's going to be ripping the puck. Uh, he's on the first line now. They separated him and Konechny because Tippett was ripping way too much. They wanted to, to spread out him and Konechny. So now Tippett has his own line with Frost and Forster, two guys are going to be passing the puck a lot, to Owen Tippett, who's going to rip at least four. SOGs today against the Canadians who give up a fuck ton of shots. Okay. Tippett SOGs, the only guy on the Flyers I would even think about taking. 
yeah, he's going, and it's a, a great matchup for him, and I think that they will be struggling in this game, so he'll be ripping. Even if they're not struggling, he'll be ripping, but um, you know I have to give you Brady Kachuk hits today. I took him last time. He played his brother, and he had nine SOGs and one hit. Ever since then, he had a, the next game after that, he had 17 hits, and I'm not exaggerating. He had 17 hits the game after I took him when he had one. Uh, but I am going back to him. He's up four today against his brother. Again, I'm, I'd be genuinely in shambles if Kachuk doesn't hit five people today on the Panthers after only hitting one. Now going on this crazy streak where he's a hothead again. Um, so that's what I'm going to be giving you today. Those two squares. POD first period under. Um, the LA Kings for a Fugazi piece. They're not, they haven't clinched the playoffs yet. They're playing the Ducks today. They need to win this game. They're starting Cam Talbot. They're showing that they're not going to start their backup in Riddick. Uh, LA Kings money line for any Fugues you're going to place today. They're beating the Ducks. 100% they're beating the Ducks. Okay. Kings ML Fugues piece. 100%. I'm, tra- I'm, I'm locked in, chat. Call me Yap. Call me whatever. Locked in is what you're going to get, and winners is what you're going to have at the end of the day. So Let's go, dude. Fucking Shelly is labbing up and, and grinding, man. That's all we asked for. Yes, sir. All right, I got Debra's at plate ready to muck. So. All right, yeah, you're locked. <laughs> be seeing, be seeing, be seeing. W oh, Chelly, wait, though. Wait, wait. Uh, we're streaming on playback tonight because we're watching the basketball game. So make sure you have something in the OKC game. Oh! Fucking ground out, dude. Sorry, I wasn't even listening to Chelly there. What did he say? God fucking damn it, bro. I'm so dumb. All right, Turner Mac. New play. Yeah, it seems like chat wanted a new play. Um, yeah. I thought about taking it off, but that, that seems soft. I'm going to stay in that game, though, and I'm going to give you uh, Kyle Harrison over fantasy score. Um, I still like the Giants. I, I don't know who the pitcher is going to be for the Nationals, but I still like the Giants to get right after only scoring one run. Um, Harrison's pitching outs line is 17 and a half. So it looks like he's going five to six innings so he can get like a win and a quality start if the Giants look good on offense. And the Nationals are like bottom three in strikeout rate. So I think uh, Harrison, who has pretty good strikeout stuff, we took him earlier this year. I think he could get around five or six Ks. Uh, But I'm going to go with the fantasy score instead of uh, strikeouts because I I like the Giants today in general. Okay. Yeah, Giants bounce back. Kyle Anderson, Kyle Fuck, how do you, what's his last Yeah, yeah. Yep. Over 28 and a half fantasies. Yes, sir. Let's go, dude. All right, Turner Mac. All right, we'll be seeing. Let's see if we can keep it alive. Yes, sir. GG's, bro. Peace. Be seeing, be seeing. Chat, Tyler O'Neill hits another gag. I'm. Hold on, Los Santos. If this ball leaves the yard, I'm done. I came on to tell you we're streaming on playback tonight and watching the Oklahoma City Thunder game. No way. Yeah, make sure you have a square in that game for prize picks. Or we can make our own. But oh, I already, have, I already have two whales in that game. Well, we're watching it live with chat tonight. Let's fucking go, dude. Let's fucking go. Cool Thugger Jackson? Yeah. Well, that was quick. <laughs> uh yeah go download playback boys go download playback and while you're here go watch the fucking youtube yap video this morning so you guys can comment on it and enter to win a 200 dollars giveaway i'm picking one dude tomorrow morning in the episode to win 200 dollars. go watch that shit all right we got uh stan outside let's go to stan what's going on trent how's it going been a little bit but uh was listening to the stream heard some nhl and just wanted to give a quick play going to the avalanche game i like cole mccarr to get a point because miko ranson is still out with a concussion and mckillen's gonna do good but uh mccarr's at minus 240 for the point and i really think he could sort it too but just want to play it safe and if you want to add it to a leg go ahead but yeah that's about yeah. it for me mccarr to get a point and uh, yeah so good luck with the rest of the day hey you too man all right we'll be seeing Let's go, Stan. Cole McCarr. And the biggest of- Intern Rav. 
What's up, dude? I'm not even going to make any jokes. What's no, up? No, thanks. Well, to be fair, I did win last Friday. Oh, when you, you did? You didn't make the joke. <laughs> what was the joke? Or what was the play? I had the Suns Timberwolves on under. They like oh, soared right. under. It was like 175. Wow. Um, I'm going to go heat again today. <laughs> Kel's <laughs> right on the money. Heat against... Uh, they've got the the fucking uh, Hawks, who are, have already locked up the ten seed. Uh, I thought the Lions was pretty short, honestly. They're at Hawks, but like they have nothing to play for. Uh, Rozier and Adebayo are questionable, but they should probably play because the Heat are trying to make up some uh, spots in these common standings. Uh, the Hawks have just been blown out in two consecutive games. I like the Heat minus three here. Heat minus three in turn Rab looking to get back in the green again after a legacy. And, uh, I think it'd be good to put the Suns in the Fugues today. Suns in the Fugues. If you want to. They're like up to eight and a half now and Harden's questionable. Oh, oh my God. That would be fucking yeah. terrible, bro. I already put a whale on Clippers, bro. No. That's <laughs> fucked. Kawhi and Harden are out, Trent. Dude, if if Harden's out, I might as well just chalk the day, bro. God damn it. You can make it back and just hedge it. <laughs> uh, all right, intern Rav. Heat PODs. All right, we'll be seeing. We'll be seeing, bro. Um, Clippers punting today. They play in LA tomorrow. Yeah, dude, shit's dead. Shit's dead, bro. Whole day is chalked. Cool thugger. You can hear me? Yeah. All right, all right. It was always snail, huh? It's like, no, 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 it's like, no. But uh, I hope everybody having a fantastic day, man. Positive vibes. I'm taking um the Yankees minus a half, first five. Love that. First five, minus a half. That's it, man. Have a good day, bro. It's, it's going to be all good. It's, it's all good. All good, bro. Let's good, go. Bro. All right. W play. All right, we'll be C's. <laughs> All right, oh damn, it's awesome, bro. I was actually loving your cell job on SGA. Now you want to come change the play, bro? Uh, hey, can you hear me still? Yeah. Sorry, I'm not in a call space. Uh, I was just going through the numbers and stuff, and to be honest, I, I like uh, Steph's demon play of 29 and a half points. Um, so I, I want to take that instead. The Warriors need a win. They're struggling to get, to get you know, out of that 10th spot for the play-in. And I just think this is going to be one of those games where Curry just goes nuts. Uh, so I, I'm going to okay. change it to the 29 and a half points, and then we'll go from there. All right. Good shit, Austin. We'll be. We'll be. Bro. I'm sorry, dude. I can't take any more Steph Curry's. I can't do it. He was checking numbers. It, what? <laughs> Oh, oh, SGA sucks. I fucking bad, bro. Um, wow, Rito. I just saw a sneak cam. I saw a sneak cam. I know that camera works, Rito. That's a fucking lie that it doesn't. Uh, my camera doesn't work. <laughs> I fucking <laughs> right, you know. SGA. <laughs> but, uh, I have a narrative, John, if you would like it. I do. All right. Uh, Grizzlies plus five. So uh, today a judge ruled that John Morant punched that kid on the basketball court in self-defense. So I think oh. he's, he's going to be on the bench fired up and he's going to rally the team and they're going to beat the Spurs. Okay. All right. <laughs> All so right. you think uh, Grizzlies plus five is a max? Yeah, that's air. Okay. <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you. Uh, wait, if I put a ladder outside of your house, would you climb it? Sure. <laughs> 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 And give it up for P1 Bets. What's going on? Yo.
What's up? Hey, uh, honestly, that was such a shit wager. The one and a half on the fucking D backs. Like, come on, bro. I gotta that was that. just I, I, absolutely. Oh my goodness. Wait, you got to see this replay. You got to see this replay. Let me see. Let me see. Is it Red Sox or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to see this ratchet. Hold on. Oh my god, how the fuck did he drop that? Hey, Ellie De La Dono, though, inside the park. Ellie De La Dono's. I, I was telling my, my friend, told me he did that. He was like, Ellie De La. I was like, Ellie De La Dono? <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> I don't know. That's just going to catch on. Anyways, uh, today is minus one and a half Guardians. I, I, just, I don't like the White Sox. I think they're so bad. Uh, and the Guardians, honestly, they've been crushing it. This would have been the year for Jose RBIs. The guy is so lethal. But, you know, uh, but it doesn't matter. The Guardians look good. Pitching is good. Bullpen is good. They're closing out games with big leads. I, I, I like them one, minus one and a half. I know the line is, like, not great for that, but I just don't understand why. I don't think the White Sox are that good. And Logan Allen's on the on the bump, so we'll get some good five innings, six innings out of him. So. Okay. All yeah. right. Honestly, Go. if you're in the chat, might as well take first five White Sox then, now that I pitched that shit. So, yeah. Yeah, GG. All right. Yeah. P1 bats with the Gabba guards. We'll be seeing. Let's get a home run in that Red Sox game. We need it. We need, we need that. It, bro. We, we need, need Devers. We need him. Badly. Yeah, All right, bro. We'll be seeing. I would do the most absurd shit for a Devers hog. Like, like so bad. Uh, Trent, what hockey teams are you putting in the Fugues? Yeah, let's craft, bro. Let's craft. Let's start with the Fugues. No, that's not Fugues. That's not Fugues. Take out the Leafs. What? In what world are we going back to the Leafs? I'm not. I'm not. I took them out. I'm taking them out. Uh, okay. Abs, though? Abs got to be valid. Yeah, against the Wild. Sure. Yeah. I'd yeah. say your other like money line piece would probably be the Stars. Ooh. against the Sabres in Dallas. I mean, the Sabres are dead. They're not going anywhere. The Stars are on a heater. They've been locked in. Their goaltending's been locked in, and they're a pretty heavy favorite. So, Wait, where are the Stars? Recommendation. Who are the Stars? Oh, right here. Stars oh. are playing the Sabres. Or the Kings, yeah. Ratchet Kings. Yep, I'm sure, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stars and Abs, though. I love that. Yeah, I just I thought you were gonna put the Leafs in there, and I was like, no. I can't, I can't no. allow this. So no. okay. oh, it, was, it was a joke. Okay, right. let's go, Kels. Locked in. I'm not doing the Leafs. I won't do Leafs for for my own mental health. Um, Kels looks like she'd be good at Legos. What does that even mean? How does one look like they would be good at Legos? Flames are a Mega Max. Nah, Javon's all over the Sharks, bro. Fuck him. Uh, Dodgers, Lakers, Thunder, Avs, Stars. I'm down for that. Or we go, or we can go another baseball. In fact, that might be the move. That's the Fugues. Oh, wait. What about the Braves? They're also minus 185. Everybody in their mall is minus 185. The Giants, the fucking D backs, the Doyers, the Braves. Jesus, man. Minus 185 is the theme. Are the Rangers? They're 205. 
Uh, yeah, this stream flew the fuck by. But that's the Fugazi, bro. That's literally got Book of Trent's name on it. Plus 800 pays for the drinks like Mikey Overs. That's perfect. Uh, you guys know my straight bets. Bucks plus two and a half. Dodgers first five. Over in Coors. Under in the Royals game. And the Rangers minus one and a half. Those are my straight bet cards. Uh, before I craft the prize picks. You guys want a, a meat on tape four man or a diversified? Oh, in the Clippers. Sorry, Clippers. Sorry. Clippers plus seven and a half. Um, Bucks are a favorite now. Fuck you, Javon. Look who knows more ball. Who knows more ball, baby? Me or fucking Javon? We're already getting CLVs. <laughs> I know more ball, dude. But, but. <laughs> All right, chat. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Lock in, bro. We've had our fun. We've had some silly fun since our, our last big day. But I knew, I'm fiending for another big day. I'm fiending for another big day. It has to happen. We had our day last week. I, I say we do both. I say we do both. Let's put our meat together. Pause for uh, a four-man whale. A four-man whale. Meet together for a four-man whale. Who do we trust? We trust Uncle Vito and Capella. We have to. He's giving us fucking demons. We're taking the regular line. Capella points from Vito. That's a back against the wall meet on tape. First surgeon to make the squadron. Free coin has to be in here with the lay zone. Hits from coin. All right, we have two. Two meet on tables. I think we go with Banker Betters Brunson. Banker Betters Brunson. Banker Betters up here, right? Oh, yeah, he's up there. Oh, yeah, he's up there. Brunson from Banker. We have three. This is what happens every time. I hate how it never comes to me for the fourth. We need a baseball. Rizzi Ozuna from the Rizard Braves. Acuna, dude. It could just be Acuna. Against Adrian Hauser. Ozuna. They didn't really have the most as best Ozuna squares available. I mean, bro, let's go with Acuna. It's about fucking time he actually hits a gag. How much longer is he going to go without hitting a gag? How much longer is he going to go without hitting a gag? Super guts, huh? Dude. You're going to give me a sell job on why, to take, why not to take Ronald Acuna Jr.? Uh, 
Buddy doesn't even steal bases anymore. And just because of that, I think we take Acuna, bro. Everybody's off Acuna, thinking he works for prize picks, his internship. Who gave me Acuna fantasies? It was Easy Jari, wasn't it? Is Easy Jari locked? Fuck, dude. It always comes down to the last lay. We could go with the guy himself who's making us so much coin, Kyle Henderson, or Harrison. Acuna's betting 500 against that fucker. You were today years old when you realized Trent took Freddie hits and not RBIs. Come on, chemist. Chat Acuna or Harrison? It's got to be. It's got to be that. Let's get a poll going. Let's get a poll going. Harrison fantasy. Acuna fantasy. Come on, Chemistry Labs. You're better than that. You really thought I took his RBIs? He's he's dishing hits, bro. He's killing it. You guys want to ride with Acuna or Red Hot? Red, Red Hot. Uh, Turner Mac, bro. That looks like a good one. Cunha Fantasy Brunson. That looks like a good one. Yeah, I guess we're going to Cunha. I'm going to make... I actually kind of want to place this. Freddie is far off of RBI pace. Let's fucking go, chemist, you rat shit gambler. Ah! Thank God I didn't take RBIs. Fucking hate that prop. We're going with Acuna. We're batting 500 against... Yeah. That's a raccoon play. Sounds like it. Acuna fantasy score. Lay zone hits. Oh, wow. Now that I think about it, this is literally the Super Guns. <laughs> Those two are the same person. Lay zone is the Acuna of the ice, and Acuna is the lay zone of baseball. Yeah, it is, dude. They, they are the same person. <laughs> I love it. Uh, and then it's Capella points from Uncle Vito Merchants. 11 and a half. They don't really look alike, dude. Uh, and then last leg was Brunson's PA. Sorry, dude, in chat. That's going to be pissed when I put a rack on Brunson. 30 points is his line, and his PA line is 37.5 PAs. Yeah, I'm locked. Sorry, Anthony. Before I click submit, how good does this look? I was about to sneeze. <laughs> how good does this look? That looks really good on eyeballs. Dude, stop. <laughs> that looks really good on the eyeballs. A lot of PA, I know. Too much ATL, I didn't even realize. Looks really good on the eyeballs. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm placing that. He has nine RBIs in 12 games. Javon, you want to answer this chemist argument? All right, I'm nuking this. I still want a six man though. I still want a six man. 
Six man demon. No. Six man regular John. Two NHLs, two NBAs, two MLBs. We'll start with the MLB. Kyle Harrison fantasy score deserves to be in here. Kyle Harrison. Fantasies. Uh, next MLB play. Do they have anything valid for Ozuna? No. They have his run. Um, I want Vito's Moreno under a strikeout. Vito, if that sells, you're banned for the rest of the week. Somebody grab me my broomski. Uh, you're banned for the rest of the week if he strikes out. Okay. And then we go MBAs. I want Wembenyama something. Wembenyama. Not going to give us his fantasy score. That's literal AIDS. Let's go with his PRA. Wemby PRA. Was that pitched, right? Someone pitched Wemby. Yeah. Max Crosby Glazer. Need another NBA, Johnson. I like LeBron, but I'm taking his RA. LeBron RA. Sixteen and a half RA LeBron. Uh, let's go to the ice. You can go Stamkos, Stamkos and Zaka. That's it. Stamkos, SOGs, and Zaka. Point. Zaka to get a point. And Stamkos. Oh, I hate how they only have demons for Stamkos, bro. It's so annoying. But I'm play. I'm taking that, Kels. Or do we go two and a half? Two and a half or three and a half shots for Sam Coast. What do we want? I say we go Green Gobby. I say we go Green Gobby. Fuck it. We'll go three and a half. Let's go three and a half. Three and a half. 38 extra. Six man John. How does it look? I kind of like it. That one shot is the difference of $10,000. Isn't that crazy? That one shot from Stamkos is the difference between getting paid out like 19000 or sorry, third. That's a ten thousand dollar difference. One SOG. That's insane, dude. That's insane. Could be the difference, but we're taking the demon. She gave us the demon. We're giving it to it. Or we're riding with it. Chat first stream tonight on. Uh. First stream tonight on playback. <laughs> you, you can see the thumbnail now. Stamkos cost me 10000 <laughs> Every day, new thumbnails is going to be that. Just who who cost me 10000 the night before. Uh, if you want to tail the four man that I'm putting my nuts on tape for, here's the link to it. Link to it. Um, and then if you want the six man community entry, here's the link to that.
But tail this one. Uh, Varlamov, Taco, Curry points, Harrison, Javier, Fantasy, Jacques, Block, Lay Zone hits. W, Adam's got Wales. Uh, yeah, no, I can't wait for the stream tonight, chat. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we're trying something new, and we get to watch games together for the first time. Playback is a platform that allows you to watch games. Watch games together. We can actually have game on the screen just like this. Just like this. And it's going to be legacies, bro. Just like this, we'll be watching game tonight. Can you imagine? Yeah. So lock the fuck in. We're watching basketball together. Go follow the Twitch. No ads rumors. I would suck dong for a Devers hog. Sorry. All right. W stream today, fellas. Let's get a Rizzy raid loading and get out of here. Quick recap of the plays. Yeah, we should make an SGP for the for the Thunder game tonight. It would be Fox points, Sabonis, RA, Chet rebounds, and SGA points. There you go. There's your four men. Uh, but here's my plays down below for everything. We got a guy in queue just spawned in at the last second. Day. Day. What's up, bro? Uh, yo, what's up? How's it going? I'm pretty good. How about you? Doing well. You got a last second POD Mega Max? Uh, yeah. Cubs ML bounced back from yesterday. That was a heartbreaker. Yeah. Just take a look around my room. Um, big <laughs> Cubs fan. Wow. So, yeah. Okay. First time? Uh, first time, new face. Wow. All right. Let's fucking go, dude. Appreciate you, Day. All right. Thank you, sir. We'll be seeing. The fuck was that? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> dude. I kind of no. I'm saving another whale for tonight. We'll save another whale for tonight. Late nights. Save some coin for the late nights. He was nice and chill. He was nice and chill. Um, all right, Rizard potential raids. Should we get a Rizzy raid? Backyard breaks. Should I buy into a backyard break? No. No. Can't be doing that, man. If Fruity was here, he could definitely talk me into it. But no. <laughs> or. I don't see why you wouldn't. Dude, stop. <laughs> Should we buy into one tonight? I mean, what's the point of not buying into one right now? Dude, like, don't. Find a, find, no, what you need to do is you need to find a break for MLB, buy the Astros, and hope for a Jordan Bay. Yeah. That would be nuts. <laughs> Upwards of two. Pretty spent upwards of 2K. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> to go see Zach Eady play. <laughs> get out. Get out. Devers is in the hole. <laughs> upwards of 2. Uh, hold on. Are we sweating this Devers at bat? Are we sweating this at bat or no? Try to end this shit so I can upload it to RedTube for fuck's sakes. Wait, you might have to hold on, man. We got McGuire, Hamilton, Duran. Oh, yeah, he ain't getting up, bro. You, you are Lindgren right now. Yeah, I'm Charlie. I'm Charlie. I'm out, boys. Rizzy Raid.
I'm typing in a random name. Will. Will. The fuck leaking my govy? Um, this guy's playing Mario Kart. No way. Not speaking English. Can't do that. Can't do that. Tired of those. It is Tuesday, isn't it? This guy's playing F1. No cam, I bet. Do you guys want Chew or a random? Do you want Chew or a random? I know you love Chew. All right, fine. Book of Chew. Book of Chew. It is Tuesday. We got to treat Chewy on Tuesdays, bro. Tomorrow we'll do a random. Holy shit, they have the Avengers on here. Be seeing.